Ah, oh, that's very much, didn't she? Time for more Zelda. Got some things to explore, which is quite nice. A couple more rifts to close up, and there is that one quest. Zora needed to send the store things in, and I think I tried creating echoes, and I'm pretty sure I just need to summon a treasure chest to drag a treasure chest over to him. So I'm gonna do that. Easiest way would be to go over here, I think. One just over this way. So I'll do that. Alright. Also, there's... Uh, i try to find where the Gravekeeper might be. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, come on. There we go. Okay. So I need to just go over where... Oh, that taller jump is so nice. Spin over here, and I think... Question is, can I take that treasure chest... Before it's been. Can't take it until kill the enemy. Hmm. Alright. Thanks. And. Okay. Good stuff. I like that. And. Right, I should have grabbed. Other guy, though. That's okay. Come on, swing it. Swing it. Well, I. Alright. Can I drag you to a better position? That got a little. Just kinda. Okay, cool. And we can just let her ball and chain trooper do the trick. So good. So I wonder, can I drag this over to Zora now? I wonder if he'll want a nicer chest. That would also be doable, presumably. Oh well, anything here? Nope. Rumble, rumble. Okay. And if I open this... It's just river horses. Can I take this somewhere? Hmm. I... Huh. Does that seem like there was much of a point to that, then? I want to see what I might be able to give him to dig on. Hmm. You gotta find some echo. Of a... I wonder if he wants to just hide it under the bed. That'd be really funny. Do I think the beetle mound will do it? Hmm. Can't grab and bring the treasure chest to him. Wonder how I should handle this then. Hmm. But we got a few more rifts around here, so then I guess I'll just go and do the horse rings. I really do wonder if there's going to be a final dungeon after the three that are currently on the map, or there'll just be seven total main dungeons, and then. Because that would determine whether there are. Four more or eight more pieces of heart. Well, hello there. Inquire into our horse. And pick any horse you like and head out. They could all use some exercise and white horse. Strange they're still gone. Here we are. They should have come back by now. I wonder if something's happened. Right, because they wouldn't recognize us as Zelda. Hmm? What do you happen to be Princess Zelda? Welcome to Hyrule Ranch, Your Highness. Hello! What do you input told us to expect you? I'm afraid we don't have your horse here at the moment. My brother took her out for some exercise, but not to worry, they should be back soon. Falfa? As in Alfalfa? Well, we gotta save our horse then. Goodness, what are you shouting so loudly for? You'll frame the princess's nerves. Disaster. We were at the carrot patch with West of Harbor Castle and a rift opened up. The horse threw me off her back to protect me. Yeah, we are. But she got caught in the rift. Oh no. So incredibly sorry, Princess Zelda. I'll go and see what I can do. The answer is not much. It's our job. More involved than I expected. Okay, the horse in Paris was swallowed up by a rift. The rift is located in the carrot patch northwest of Hyrule Castle. And Ah, so there's a rift there now. Interesting. Okay. We also got little rifts here, here, and here that I think should maybe give us more points, maybe? So what you're telling me that the horse ended up in a rift. I would go to the carrot patch to try to help, but I can't leave the ranch unattended. Anyone in here? Should talk about the milk. Milk made, hello. Hey. Customer, can I interest you in some milk from our happy hardworking cows? Okay, nothing new, okay. Let's go over here, and that's right by the forest. I wonder what uh, the still world instance is going to be like then, if it's going to be the forest or what. Mm.
Who knows? Well, nothing to do but go in. And... Oh, well. oh, we can't go past that. Classic. Hmm. Oh, well. A carrot patch that's been eaten up by a rift. You think? And that mare she saved me, we have to get her back. The horse is there in that rift. What do we do? Oh, your highness, I'm so deeply sorry. It's okay. It's all right. These things happen. Let's open this up. I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. You can't tell me what to do. Huh? Oh, and they're afraid of try. Interesting. And... Well, what is that? Some kind of portal. That mayor, she saved me. Okay, Peace Princess, you have to bring her back. Same as before. Nothing new with that. Okay, let's go in. Ah. Who would you wonder where? I'll get that final stamp. Well, I can sense my friends here. They're trapped. They're trapped in four areas to be exact. If we rescue them all, we can fix this rift. I just wonder how many points we got for try. Still carrot patch. Oh, that's funny. And because if I'm lucky, that would hopefully mean getting... See a good way to just use the ball and changer for the break that. The ability to make five cost echoes finally. Oh, there you are. Oh well. And that's not hidden all that well. And pull that back, why don't you? Or not. Oh goodness, that's not a good match at all. Hmm. Well we can send our level three dark map. That he's a strong guy. He's a strong guy. Said ball and changer being able to break crates quickly and easily is also good. And alright. And even more damage that way. Yeah. It's it's its own kind of thing. Because it's more of a it's more of a toy style, I would say. Just different. It's Ah, something here, nice. It's like they're all little plastic figurines. Hello there. And we can... Highest DPS is the Ball and Chain Trooper. And I... Oh, uh-oh. Oh, come on. And we gotta get you the right. There we are. We can keep you in place while you get multi-hit. So if you do the Ball and Chain Trooper stuff right, it's really, really good if you do it right. Yeah, yeah, I think we talked about that before. A little bit. Mm hmm... Well, they get up here, I guess they want you to use... We could use a Strangler. That is also true. Want to use that elevator guy. But we can also just do this. Prefer to do it that way. Here we go, that's open. Hmm. Figure out a good way to get in there. And... I do you like the Strangler when it's relevant and usable? Oh, and that can't be done, so... Put a Ball and Chain Trooper down, or... Uh, too tall, huh. Let me... Get some bombs in here, maybe. Oop. And can I... Barely get that. There we go. Oh, and I... Oh, come on. That was obnoxious. Okay. Let's... Zero wood. Break that. Well, we could also just... Pull it out. That's right. And I... Never mind. Now we can go back up. A little silly. And there we can start putting down some kind of bomb functional enemy. Ah, it was a bit annoying. Okay. Bomb one. And there's a try. I really hope I get five cost echoes after this because it has been comically overdue. Especially since I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure it goes all the way up to 7 or something, at least. It's on something I saw against my will. Okay. Keep on tossing. Just want to break out. Oh, there's a Zol! Hello. And... Dark Nut's still good here. Come on. Oh, and there's more. More of these underground areas. Interesting. Okay. Luckily, our Dark Nut friend is more than good enough to chop those down. So all these underground areas are definitely how they're sort of dragging out the value of this. 
Can I get you over there? Thank you. And just uh -huh. put another down so it gets on stock. And no, not close enough. That's unfortunate. And oh look, we can use meat. Let's give you this meat. Eat your meat! Okay. And you're on top of the meat, but it's okay. And that was nice. Yeah, the rapid DPS, if you can keep something still from the ball and chain trooper, is real, real nice. That's fun. Got a bit of nectar. All right. That bonus jump height is so, so good. Another try friend. Yeah, but the real world area that this corresponds to is real tiny. It's just making a lot of use of these little underground areas to make it bigger than it would otherwise be. Hmm. This... Ooh, lots of these rocks. I imagine the tri friend is somewhere in there. The nice thing is, we can move these around a lot better since we have our bonus jump height and... Let's just... Oh, I did not mean to get crushed. That wasn't fun. Wait, am I just stuck? No, I'm not. Okay. Now we can drop that off. For a second, I was rather worried. Okay. Big rocks, just gone. No reason to let you go. Okay. It'd be so funny if that was some kind of soft lock. Thankfully it wasn't, but... At least I would have derived some comedic value out of it. Yeah, that frog ring makes that so much more durable. Otherwise, it would have been a nightmare. Okay. And you have the tri friends just in there. And... Well, you can't even get here without going through Hyrule Castle first, so... It's not as if the frog ring would be inaccessible. It would just be a matter of, well, if you haven't bought a bunch of accessory slots from the Great Fairy, maybe then it would be a bit less usable. But thankfully, I bought all of her accessory slots a long, long time ago. Okay. Fun shopping. And I need something to use these rupees for. I just don't have anything to use them for right now. And can't get up quite. Let's put a water block down and... Come on. Oh, goodness. Ooh, ooh. Mwah. Mwah. I think... Water blocks could be good for this. Let's see. Put over there and... Can I... Yep, the connection does still work. That's nice. Otherwise, I'd have been in trouble. Go down a little and... Ruby stays there. Interesting. Seems like it's got its own little pseudo-gravity. Let's get on up. Thank you. And can I make this jump? I can just barely make that. And we got... Oh, the horse is there. The horse is here. Let's get that final try, friend, and see how much experience we try we get out of this. Peter, the horse is here. Found all my friends in this area, now we can mend this rift. I feel like my wife's calling is to do bad Lois Griffin impressions. Okay. Thank you. And... Oh, uh oh. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, Lois Griffin, spirit animal. My friends shared some of their power with me. Are we going to get... There we go, finally! Six. What's, what are we going to get? We're going to get another triangle. Yes! Finally! I'm so happy. I feel like I can do even more now. Try getting another triangle. Use Y to create even more echoes. Finally, real power has... Real power is available to us. So let's go back to your world now. So many echoes I just couldn't make. I'm so much stronger now. And now I can put down that level 3. Here's level 3 echoes. And that level 2 Mothula. I don't think there's a level 3 Mothula, probably. Alright. Oh well, the rift, it's gone. But Falfa, I don't see Princess Zelda's horse anywhere. Did he go back to the ranch? Poor thing, must be frightened and hiding somewhere. Hey, come on back now, horsey. Hmm, she's not coming, is she? She gonna recognize me, or...? Hmm. 
Oh, hey, what about the carrots? She absolutely loves carrots. Maybe the smell of a fresh carrot will get her to come back. And you met in the rift and saved the horse. Unfortunately, she spooked him what we have the forest. Maybe a carrot would change her mind. And highest cost. And we got five options. Sword Moblin. I don't know if there's even a Spear Moblin level 3. Probably not, honestly. Zolvis level 3, Dark Knight level 3, Fire Wiz Robe, Ice Wiz Robe, Electric Wiz Robe, and the Mopula. Well, so nice. And big old dude. Big old dude. Zolfos, and the big dark nut, fire whiz robe, mm -hmm. ice whiz robe, electric whiz robe, and the mocula level 2. Hmm. It's nothing for that to fight right now, but it's going to be so good to have these available when the time comes. Okay. You can try giving her a carrot. I'm sure she'd appreciate getting one from you, your highness. Where is the horse? There's a Zelda, but how about you give her a carrot? She loves them. I think that might be enough for her to calm down and come back here. Now that you've met the rift, I have my carrot patch back. I'll give you a lifetime supply of carrots, as many as you want. And I... Let's pull that up. And... The horse just appears when the carrot is dug out of the ground. Okay. And... Gonna get a whistle or something? Horse Echo? Alright, seems like she's in good shape. I don't see any injuries, and she's clearly happy to meet her new companion. You've been quite gracious to help us, Princess, and if she's yours to take with you, I'm grateful Lady Impa brought this mare into our lives. Oh, in your house. Well, I should say, if you heard of flag races, oh, we can do the minigame now. The race is hosted by Harbor Ranch. You have to bring your own horse to participate. We have one now. Please feel free to drop by Hollow Ranch if you're interested. Your roommates, presumably? You can ask them. See you, princess. Here's our horse. The white horse has become the royal companion. As long as you put a carrot down outside, she'll come running to your aid. So, can you... is there a carrot echo? Oh, now we can get the carrot echo. Now we can do it. Okay. When the carrot echo. Harvested fresh from a field northwest of Hyrule Castle. This carrot is quite sweet. Of course, it's come running. Well, actually, I never dug one out of the ground. Ah, now we got our horse summon. That's nice. Carrot. Eat your carrot. Eat your carrot horse. And... Now that you've met the rift, I have my carrot patch back. Okay, okay. Well, I can just spawn them in now, so not a problem get close enough, can we... You won't eat that carrot. Huh. Okay. It is cute. So now I guess we can go back to the ranch and... Zelda's horse, rental horse. I didn't even really use the horse much, but this ain't bad. The main thing is gonna be the race now. I've already gone pretty much everywhere. And... Let me see. My question is... I can't even walk onto those tiny trees. Okay. My grandpa says that horses can sniff good folks out from bad ones. I guess it's true. I mean, you're an amazing person. If our horse took to you right away, she knew. And Princess Zelda, you decided to stop by. You can take part in flag races here at Hyrule Ranch. Train our horses with these flag races. Makes them stronger and faster. If you'd like to take part in a flag race, please stop by while riding your white horse. You actually do need to bring it in. Who'd have thought the person to rescue your horse would be you? I appreciate your help with that, Princess. Thank you. Feel free to ride our other horses too, not just your own. Well... It's less convenient that way. Okay, and nothing new. If I go to the music box, she'll mention the music box. The flag race. Yep. Saw this before. Prize for the flag races. I wonder if it'll go in our inventory then. Huh. Let's try that minigame. And... There's our horse. Okay. And... Mer. Mer. Okay, nothing new to say. Okay. Oh, I did... I wanted to dash, not talk to the cow. I also did not want to talk to the cow. Okay, the horse is a little clumsy, honestly. Ooh. I like that, though. Yeah. Hi, if you'd like, I can teach you about how to ride horses. Teach me. 
My horse is galloping, they'll jump over while up and change his elevation. I think I saw that before. Try doing that with defenses there, go and give it a shot. There we go, will you acknowledge that? Yeah! Nope, okay. Let's try our races. And... You must be wearing a Go Princess Zelda, we like to take part in a flag race, have a lot race. Flag races, you gather flags in order on the course and make it to the goal. You'll dodge some obstacles, so having a strong connection with your horse is key. You also need to pay a participation fee, how about one race? And... 10 rupees, or... okay! This is your first flag race, so let's start you off with short course. Short course is one lap around the ranch's track. Old time is 23 seconds, I'll give you a lovely prize if you beat that. 10 rupees to get the short course ready for you. Thank you all, the course set up for you in just a moment. Okay. Alright then. Gotta dodge those crates, presumably. Also, apparently Chaska's best team is gonna be Firina, Bennett, or Aron. That's fine. The short course, gather up six flags in order, then reach the goal. I wonder if we can just keep dashing or okay. Hmm. Let's see what we can dodge, and we'll have to go around. Spamming the dash button. That should be okay. And I oh! Hmm. And yeah, there are limits to how well I can. Well, we beat that time. That's good. A little clumsy. Yeah, it does. Hmm. There are a lot of people. Apparently, there's a large contingent of the Chinese fan base who wants Hoyo to promote Ororon to 5 star, which probably isn't even possible, even if they wanted to do that at this point in the development cycle, but it's interesting to think about. Tom is 19.99, well done, and you're under 23 seconds, amazing for the goal time. I'd like you to have this reward for clearing the goal time in the short course for the first time, and hey, just a rabbit rupee, whatever. You got 10, 20 rupees, excellent. You can do it under 7 seconds, you'll know that you're a course master. As a cleared goal time on the short course, you can race the middle course. Stop by any time, you like to have more fun around here. Hmm. Try to get that time, then. Short course, obviously. So under 17 seconds, only 10 rupees to get the short course ready for you. Now, obviously, we probably shouldn't dash when we're trying to turn. Okay. No, no explanation needed. Okay. And... Okay, cool. And... I need to take these turns gradually. I missed that entirely. That was stupid. Oops. Let's try that again. Oops. Aww. Aww. Yeah, these horse mechanics are actually a little tough. Luckily, we have more rupees than I could ever know what to do with. Oops. Yeah. But it's interesting because there are some people talking about, for better or worse, the idea that... Okay, I didn't need the explanation. That now that purely female audience-oriented live service games like Love and Deep Space are coming out, that maybe there would be no you know, audience whatsoever for games like that with a mixed cast. Because, you know, the presumption that they had was basically the reason that there was an audience was because, you know, there weren't games that were just, and I, oh my, really? Oh, we barely missed that. That there weren't any games with, that purely target a female audience that had, for example, a an all-male cast for people who like that kind of thing. And so mixed cast just existed basically as a... Oh, we got butter. It's not bad. Sort of a half measure. Sort of a compromise or okay, this is the best we can get. But it's also... I think that misses a few things like one. They're... Games like that generally have a very limited type of sort of male archetype. You don't get... Honestly, you don't get any characters like... For example, Scar Mushu Zao, I suppose. And it... It's just also a very different kind of game. Yeah, but a lot of it is also... It's basically the only game of its type in its target market. And okay, can't go around that way. I can't just jump the fence, I need to stay around. But, and a lot of people made a lot of hay about that, but... Of course it did. It's the only game with its specific target target audience. The only game that zeroes in on that audience like that. 
And it's kind of like how Genshin had a hilarious amount of monopolization of the market when it came out because it was literally the only game, period, that was sort of a high quality, high production value live service game. Well, for what it's worth, LAD does have action RPG gameplay and elements. It's just not the primary focus. For people who care about that kind of thing, it is there. It's just not the primary focus of the game. But the main thing that I would say is just... The sort of character archetypes in it are rather limited. Due to the nature of the genre. And that for someone who likes sort of a Zhao or Scar type character, there'd be nothing there for them. Well... Yes, but also no. That it's not open world, but it still does have action RPG gameplay. For better or worse, that's undeniable. Oh, is then you... Well... In a personality type sense? Well, that's what I was kind of saying. You don't have... Scar or Zhao... Type characters because it's... The focus is very much romantic interest first and foremost. And you know, no matter who your target audience is, if you try to make a game like that, the kind of character archetypes you can make are inherently a little limited as a result. And it's, it's not to say that's a bad thing or that, but it's just inherently different. The goal is very different there. Tensionality is very, very different, and I can't take that corner so quickly. I... What's the secret? What's the secret to this? Uh... Flag race. How do you get that? How do you get that? Aww. Are there shortcuts? Oh, it might be a matter of taking shortcuts. That's interesting to think about. Okay, because I thought I was limited to the track itself. I... Hmm. I wonder if I can boost the speed somehow. Well, you know, we're trading our rupees for butter. That's okay. We can kind of... I think we can get... We sum our rupees back by just... Selling the butter anyway. Agent? Eight? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it hates you too. That makes you feel any better. Okay, and let's try to take... And you just can't jump that. In the short course, you just can't jump. Defense. Okay. Huh. That's tough. I want to see... If there's some kind of horse speed boost for doing the other ones. Because that 17 seconds is... Evil. Let's just try the other courses and see if we get anything. The middle course wins outside the ranch in a high field. The gold time is 25 seconds. Look at the only prize if you beat that. 10 rupees to get middle course ready for you. Maybe I will kill you. Okay. And, hmm, interesting. Luckily, it's rather straightforward. For the middle course, gather up five flags in order around the field and reach the goal. Okay. It's basically a straight shot from each one to the next. That's fine. And, okay. Let's keep dashing. We can, oh my goodness. I, all right. That's tough. And, cool, cool. I... Good stuff, and now we can gradually come back and not hit that. I wonder what the goal time for that was. Let's see. It's not a bad time. We did bump into a couple things, but I think this one is more about dodging the pure speed. So your time is 19.73 seconds. Well done. You're under 25 seconds. Amazing quick goal time. I like to have this. Remember the first time you goal time in the middle course thing. This is a ranch's treasure. Oh, and there's the music box. You got a prismatic music box. Music box is a lovely seven card cylinder and plays beautiful bright tones. Yeah, under 20 seconds is very impressive. You're now a course master. Oh, we already got that. 
the master of metal course, I'd like to have this. And oh, piece of heart from that. You got a piece of heart, collect four, the maximum number of hearts will increase. Because you cleared gold town in the middle course, you can race the long course. You stop that any time, you'd like to have more fun around here. Take part in a flag race, and see. Of course you want to try. They mention the mastery there. You're on your course master, we try to beat your record. I'll do a different one, so she mentions that. Let's do the long course. The long course involves two tracks, first one outside the ranch, then the track inside it. Real time is 50 seconds, I'll give you all the prize if you beat that. You need 10 rupees to get the long course ready for you, okay? Thank you, all the course set up for you in just a moment. Interesting. The 17 seconds is gonna be funky. Okay. Now I have to do some turns. It's not dashing when we approach the turn. Mm -hmm. Feels like slot cars. For the long course, gather up eight flags in order, then reach the goal. Hmm. Okay. And we'll take that and then we'll dash. Okay, and now we'll go around and dash over there. Now that we've got a vector on that and oh I okay. Take that turn and I Okay. Cool. And Oh goodness. Ooh. That is a tough course. I I am not sure I can even afford to dash all that much at all. Huh. And now we can trust some of that. And okay. Dash, dash, and I Ooh. On the straightaway. And almost done then. Okay. Let's see if we can get some kind of speed boost. Training speed increase or something. Hmm. Wonder what the mastery time for that is. Hmm. Your time is 42.67 seconds, well done, and you're under 50 seconds. Amazing glory of the gold time, I'd like to have this reward with Queen, the gold time on the long course for the first time. Okay, purple rupee. Hmm, you got 50 rupees, that makes her really happy. In 240 seconds, we'll know that you're a course master. Shock, you cleared gold time for the long course, too. We'll have to see you come by now and then to keep setting new course records. Stop by any time, you'd like to have more fun around here. Hmm. I? Hmm. So got that music box wonder if we have it in our inventory. And it's... It's in here, yeah. Music box with a, with a lovely southern colored cylinder. It plays beautiful bright tones. And I think... Let me just hop off the horse. I guess that just marks having it. So I need to... Where could I use the music box? Oh, it's probably for another quest. Well, that was part of the idea. The main thing is just the fence. Let's be wearing to go Princess Zelda. Let's try the long course again. 17 is the crazy one. Mm -hmm. 40 seconds, 10 rupees. You have the long course ready for you. Okay, set up in just a moment. Horse is funky. This is real funky. Don't need an explanation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Flag order being as strict as it is is part of the problem. And can I turn around? Uh, never mind. Okay. Come on. And over that way. And we, oh, come on. I can't afford a dash when there are any kinds of turns, and I, we're already screwed. Ah. Just need some horse tips. Horse tips. Aww. Aww. Charge on the straights, lay close to the corners, and you should win. Have mercy. Let's try that again. And. <sighs> okay. Try this. Let me try it. I just can't afford to dash. Unless I know for sure I'm not going to have to turn anytime soon. Hmm. That's tough. Okay, and that's a good time to dash and now we can turn around. Thank you. Dash over there and I oh. That's a corner we need to deal with. And can I hmm. never mind, that's annoying. Uh, now that we can get into the ranch, it's a decent. Okay, I see how this goes then. 
Dash. Okay. Dash. Okay, all right. Dash. Or not. I... Huh. That's legitimately rather annoying and tough and we're... So close, too! <sighs> Bonked. That was the problem. I can time save. There was one dash I shouldn't have done. And that tree corner I took kind of badly. Well, okay, Melk? Hmm. Let's try that again. It's a shame they don't let you just immediately retry, but that's alright. Pretty sure that the bottles of Melk would cover that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, thank you. Okay, take those corners as tightly as possible. And we can go through here, and that's actually decent. Now we can take that, and actually, I think we can dash over here, actually. And that was actually a real nice... Time save, and I... Mmm, that was a bad idea. Let's see. And now we can dash in. Take that corner nicely. And spin around there. I think this might be it. Depending on how I handle the rest of this. And can I dash... Oh my... No, that one doesn't work! Kill yourself! What? That doesn't even look like... That does not look like it should block me. I hate this game. Okay. <sighs> All right. Okay. Let's try that again. Cool. Cool. <sighs> Stupid chungus life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And it doesn't look like we can even jump over fences like this anyway. Okay, and we'll, we go dash. Once we round this corner, we'll dash again. Thank you, and that's good. Immediately we'll corner there and I... No, that was actually a good idea. You can jump that ledge. Interesting. I didn't even think about that possibility, but that was actually quite nice. Now we'll dash over this way. Hopefully there is a bit of corner tolerance. Let's see when we should dash, and it's a good straightaway to dash on, and I think this should be all, and there we go! Very nice. The minigame isn't sentient, it doesn't have a personality. It's an acceptable target. Okay. There we go, your time is 38.73 seconds, well done, under 40 seconds, that's beyond amazing, you're a master of the long course, so I'd like to add this, and this is, got a charging horn, where this charm made of strong horn, while riding horses to power up their charges. Ah, okay. Let's see. Charging horn. Also got this from last time, a useful waist cloth, woven with golden thread, protects you from being windblown, windproof. Doesn't mean much right now. Let's see that charging horn, okay. Horse attack up? I wonder if that would make them faster. A charm made of strong horn. Horses are excited by it, pulling up their charge. And let me just see. Gotta get that mastery for the last one. And it. Let me see if that's any faster. I. Is that? That's definitely a faster dash. Even looks a bit different. So I think you probably need that to actually get mastery on the short course. See, short course. Wonder if that'll let me barrel through the trees or something. That'd be fun. Okay. Or at least go through the crates and not have to jump over them. Hmm. Don't need it explained. Alright. And alright, cool. And we can keep charging and let's get that dash in again. Thank you. Take that corner. There we go. Right, and this should be a good option then, and I- What? Huh? Whatever. I... It's gotta be a catch to this. Okay, it just seems like it only looks faster. Huh. I... 
What is the trick to this? Let me try that one more time. There's gotta be a catch. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, I should see if I can just charge through the trees now. Now that I've got the charging horn up. That would definitely make a difference. No explanation needed. Okay, all we can really do is just charge as much as possible and take the cor corners as tightly as possible. And can we... No, we can't go through. Okay. Hmm. Expand the charge until you hit that corner. Uh, let's try that one more time. Really draining those rubies. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can't just barrel through the trees. Now that would have been cool. That would have been real cool, especially since we had to get Master on the lawn course, but I guess that's not an option. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We will take these corners as tightly as possible, and oh, that got me stuck. I don't like that. And let's take this corner as again as tightly as possible, and we'll dash around that way. And I, what is the what's the trick to this? What's the trick to this thing? Uh, flag race, 17 seconds. How do you do that? Oh! Oh. You have to cheat. Okay. Well, not really cheat, but you have to use bind while on horseback. I didn't know I could do that. Okay. You have to move the trees out of the way. Uh, okay. I should have thought about that. Oh well. Hmm. Of course, of course it is though. Of course you have to cheat. Or apparently you can do it without bonding if you're really, really you know, purely perfect play or something. Ah, uh, yep, we can even move those out of the way before the jumps. Kinda. Ah, interesting. I. And, well, well, that didn't quite work. You have to... Oh, but that was the wrong one, too. I... You have to... You have to frame that stupid garbage. What in the... What in the goddamn? Okay. Huh. I don't like that. I really don't like that. The lock-on is just way too finicky in this game to... <sighs> It, for all the things that Echoes of Wisdom actually took from Dark Souls specifically, and honestly, the accessory system, the fact that it's accessories in addition to outfits, the accessories are very, very Dark Souls. The fact that you boost your slots over time, even cheating's hard. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So this one is honestly the toughest, because you got to juggle stuff. got to juggle it. Huh. Okay. And let's... Yeah, move that out of the way. We'll dash again. And that didn't quite work. Oh, well. Okay. All right. And we'll move that out of the way of our horse. And there we go. That's how you got to do it. Now I see. Okay. That wasn't all that bad. Just had to free him instead of walking on. Yeah, but the fact that you can't change where you walk on points by using the right stick once you're locked on, which is something you can do in Souls, that's something it didn't take, but should have. Under 17 seconds, that's beyond amazing. You're a master at the short course, so I'd like to have this. Okay, cool. Three my crystals. All right. Stop by any time. You'd like to have more fun around here. I, I think I'll be okay. So in that case, we are... Check around the village. There's also that other rift over there, so I wonder if they'll mention that. Honestly, the horse is clunky enough to use. I'm just gonna keep spinning. Okay. Wonder if anyone has anything new to say. If I can do anything about this weird tree. Weirdly specifically placed tree. Been suspicious since the start of the game. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. I worry about things pretty easily. Our son is the exact opposite. He's always running around, playing without a care, but the sudden that eases my worries. Let's go and talk to that kid who's got a quest for us. How can I help you? I'd like to chat. So just between us, my wife's often cast a town checking out shops. We're wondering how that town works so we can squeeze our own shop in the mix there. Hmm. Kids over there. And so nice stuff with Big Spin. Hello. Used to be the head of this village. These days I put around in my old age. Have you seen the man in the brown hat outside? He's our leader now. We used to wish for life in the bustling castle town, but that was long ago. My family's right here, so my heart now belongs to this village. Those were the people I did the P-Hat quest for a long time ago. Hmm. Let's see what we can do for the kid. Hello. A boy named Wink was once stolen away from a village for a time. I was so worried that I got stolen away too. Lots of one of those recent rifts. What a world. Hmm. I wonder if I can move that nice treasure chest up there. It is a quest. That I... Yep! I can take that with me. I wonder if there's an echo I could get by blowing it up. If you can, it can blow up a treasure chest. Probably can. And... No, you can't. But I will need to drag that, I think, to Azora over by the ocean. Hmm. My wife is a great cook. The way she roasts meat is so delicious. Flavor the aroma, I can't resist it, and monsters can't either, unfortunately. Oh. Hey there, thanks again for saving me from that mob of monsters. If you ever run no one during your travels, mind passing on a message? Here, we saw that before. Okay. That treasure chest should help me do another quest. Also, that's Link's house. You could even see the hat on the bed. Let's do this quest for that kid. What does he want to see? Wish I could see some what. Alright. Oh well. Showy, fluffy, and totally white. That's what snow is like. A snowball? And I learned that from the Link. He told me Hepper Mountain's covered in snow because it's super cold in northern Hyrule. The white, fluffy, cold all in one thing. I want to see some for myself. I can't go all the way to Hepper Mountain until I've grown up. Guess I'll have to wait forever. What is snow, really? A boy in Southern Village heard about some stuff called snow on Hepper Mountain, North Hyrule. He'd like to see some just once. According to Link, Hepper Mountain is lots of snow. I've just got to see some of that stuff at Hepper Mountain. Okay. So that snowball from before should show it to him. There we go. Snowball for you. What was this snow? That's amazing. Thanks for bringing it, miss. Okay, if I touch it, it'll be cold. It's so cold. It's fluffy and crunchy, but if I pack this stuff in my hand, it's solid weird. Here, I got some in my mouth. Okay. Oh, I got a stuff. My hands are freezing. Yeah, that was fun. Hold out your hand, miss, and... What are we getting? Ah, oh, well, just nectar. Okay, got eight drawers of full nectar. Mom says I gotta thank anyone who helps me with things, and that was the best. I hope it snows in Southern Village someday. Well, boy's excited to see snow for the first time, and now he hopes that snow will fall in Southern Village someday. Thanks for showing that snow, miss. I really hope that snow falls in this village someday if it does come back to play. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I guess I'll drag that treasure chest all the way over, because I... I don't remember where another... Oh, golden type treasure chest was. So I guess treasure chest escort mission or something. That's okay. Hmm. Just right up here. And there we go. I will take it with me. Cool. All the way to Zora Land. Shouldn't be all that difficult, just I have to walk instead of running. Oh, but that's right. I could use the horse. Thank you, horsey. And we'll ride the horse, and there we go. Cool. Can ride the horse all the way to the seaside, and then just boat it the rest of the way. Oh, now it's on top of us. That's actually better. Treasure chest on me. And... Okay. Hmm. Sure, but I... Oh, what? Hey, little crow. Oh, there's our automaton guy. That key you got is real important to me. Now be a good little birdie and fork it over. Hmm. You hear me, little crow? I promise I won't be mad if you give it back now. No. Are well, you little? I know you can hear me. Ignoring me, the great Dombit, the most genius inventor of all in all of Hyrule. 
Other games, he was always a grave digger. Stop being a pest and give me my key. It's all for nothing if I don't get that key back. Tomaton Engineer Dante. Dante, who called himself a genius inventor, was having a rough time after a crow monster stole an important tool from him. The Pesticuro stole a very important clockwork key of mine. If I don't get the key back, I won't even know what to do with myself. I guess this is Pokemon Rumble now. I- What just hit me? Snake or what? Let's let this Dark Knight do this. Hello. Oh, that's massive. Oh, wow. And thank you for defeating that wily crow and getting me my key. I was so busy being angry with that crow that I forgot about introductions. Dompe, the most genius inventor in all of Hyrule. I spent decades refining my skills on automaton crafting. Now I'm the best engineer out there. I suppose being the only automaton engineer also makes me the best, but huh? Anyway, you seem pretty tough. Got much experience defeating monsters. Maybe this little lady is the one to really make the most of my inventions. That settles it then. Swing on by my house later. We'll give you a little treat for helping me out. We're out in the middle of nowhere, so I'll mark it on your map. You're right by the eastern temple. We found your house already. The house is real funky. You can't miss it. Well, I'm headed that way now. See ya. Okay. And after retrieving the clockwork key from the crow, Dompe told me to come to his house so he can reward you. Check the map and head to Dompe's house. Cool. There we go. Let's ride our horse again. And lots of whiz robes, other mob wins, and the oh, moth he went for Ariel. Let's use the tree to get this back up on top. Or not. This still works. Okay, and drag it with us all the way to the ocean. Good stuff. Just keep dashing. Speed ain't bad for something I actually have to do in the overworld. Jump is nice too. Okay. Rare instance of horse being useful. And I- Oh, right! Horse can't go in water. That's right. Cool. Let's just drag this over to... Zoro Land now. Should hopefully be good enough- Oh, well, there was actually one down there. I may be stupid. Well, it allowed me to actually get used out of the horse. I think it'll be okay. And... You are right over there. I have to take this a little slower than I might like, but okay. Hmm. Stupid bird. Stupid, stupid bird. How to store it. It's... The quest is even called... The Precious Treasure, yeah. Okay. There you go. Yep. Empty chest for you. This is perfect. It will keep my treasure safe, and it's simply beautiful, too. You know, I recently found a pretty rock, only to have an albatross steal it from me. That led me to really fuss over the storage question. This chest will help me rest easy. Once again, I've got something I'd like you to have. Some unusual stones I found while swimming in the sea. See, I hope that they're a fitting gift. And... Just monster stones again. What do I do with them? These oddities form in the body's monsters. This chest is so nice. Actually, that I feel awkward putting my things inside it. I think I'll polish my shells and rocks in before I slip them inside this. Okay. Hmm... Gave the Caesar a box that he considered pretty enough to keep his treasure in. He was delighted and said that he'll bronze the box as much as the treasure, but he, he will keep it inside it. Okay. Zelda bed. And... Yep. Nice and quick restoration. Let's go over and get our first automaton then. I think should hope would be pretty useful. We'll see. So nice to get level 5 echoes. So nice. Okay. I guess we could talk to Impa now about that horse. And we can go in the house now. Good stuff. Oh well. You are oh, and it's probably his work table. You're here, I've been waiting for you. Welcome to my top secret workshop, Dombe Studio. This might be a use for rupees. Right before I forget, here's your reward. And oh, it's Twisty Pumpkins for making automaton smoothies. Five of them. Anywho, I work day and night and day, making automatons here in my studio. Why not day and night? Guessing you don't yet know the joy of automatons while well, riding. Let me to introduce you to the dazzling world of my clockwork beauties. Here we go. Automatons are works of pure art. It's fired up. Inspired by monsters, I pour my soul into each and every one. My automatons, Baha, huh, are so flashy, they'll even fight for you just to pour with care. I'm sure you'll be great with them. Pretty sure, anyway. Now for my yammer, and it's time to get a hammer in. Well, I'd like to anyway, but lately I've been struggling. You see, I'm in an artistic rut, so we gotta show him echoes of monsters, probably. 
So off I go to take a walk and clear my head, and I get accosted by a crow, can you believe it? At any rate, it got me thinking about making a real zinger so that can shoot up into the sky. So it led me to the concept, but I need more than one just one idea for my creative pursuits. I need inspiration. If I saw something fresh, I can make a shiny new automaton. I'll find you something. I mean it. For sure then, please and thanks. For the base of this new art piece, let's see. I'm thinking about that creature with the big eye, the sort that's always jumping around, the epitectite. That won't be enough on its own, and something that'll help me imagine the automaton. Blessing upward in a nifty kind of way, probably a firework. Or no, a mafia. I'm looking for something that shoots hot smoke out of its backside to blast forward. Fart. Attack. Okay, if you find a thing or monster that might fit my vision, just place it on the pedestal. If the inspiration hits me, I'll be able to make the most flashy automaton. Yup, thank you. Bit of a puzzle. Dompe needs something that matches the vision, his vision so he can build an automaton. Find and show him a monster that's constantly jumping. Also a monster that shoots hot smoke to blast forward. Let's see the other Mothula. Notebook. And... What lands? Blasting forward. Let's see. And... Will you blast it all, or... Mafia level 2, and... Well, there we go. Oh, what do you look at that? Hmm, let me have a gander. That's it, it matches my concept perfectly, thanks for finding it for me. We think there's still more, one more step to sort out, so close to a real Zingya Tom, Tom, and she'll find what I'm looking for. Bet the regular Mafia would work too, but... Let's put down the normal Tektite, I guess. Tektite? Okay. Oh, what do you look at that? Hmm, will we have a gander? That's it, it matches my concept perfectly, thanks for finding it for me. What? Oh, oh, I feel it in my bones, I'm burning with inspiration. Woohoo. Check that's still rattling around. And I'll keep the huge eyeball and then top it up with a glitzy metallic body. Sort of moth or tech tight. To finish the job, I'll add custom rockets to make it launch in a real showy way. Yahoo! Electric wrench. Well, haha, now that's what I call a snazzy automaton. I dub it the tech. Technology, tech tight technology. Here it's all yours, and. Oh, well, you got the tech tight. It's a flashy automaton that can launch high into the air with a huge jump. Better yet, when it jumps, it blasts away in a nearby monster, so it's got some real kick to it. I hope you make good use of it on your journey. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Here's our key. You got the clockwork key. Use that to wind him up. It's a precious one of a kinder, so don't go losing it. These unusual creations are made by the automaton engineer Dave. If one of them breaks, you can just visit him and he'll fix it. When holding. The right but left button, use R to select an automaton, then press Y to summon the automaton and hold Y to wind it up, release Y and watch it go. Okay. If an automaton breaks it on the air, just bring it on back to old Dompe. I'll need rupees to cover the cost of repairs, but I'll fix that bit as new. My inspiration journal is over there. I jot down notes for up and coming automatons in there. If anything catches your own, I'll make it for you, so go ahead and weave through. Hmm. Dompe's journal. The automaton is complete. The tech type that Dompe made is a powerful automaton that knocks back surrounding enemies when it jumps. And is that going to be okay? Also in the notebook, or... Ah, automatons are below the echoes. Interesting. Echoes and then automatons are also in the notebook. Okay. A showy construct that uses built-in rockets to jump high in the air, blasting its surroundings as it takes off. Ah, interesting. And that's automatons. We'll have to wind that. And now that's finished. And explosion. And fire, too. And now that's all wound up, it's gonna keep doing its thing. I wonder how many can have deployed at once. That puts it away. And. Oh, eventually it'll run out of winding, presumably. Yep. Gotta wind it again once it's out. Okay, interesting. Gone, you have a monster soon, don't you? I love those things. Oh, so you can use those for repairs. I'll take monster for repairs rather than rupees if you're interested. Just talk to me if you need repairs. Dante's journal. Explosions galore. Concept of jovial explosive automaton that leaves destruction in its wake. Yeah. It's stuff in their own. Need hot and it will be yet an another ultra jazzy automaton. The idea alone isn't enough. As usual, I need the proper inspiration to set me on fire, so I'm hoping it'll help me again. The basis of this new art piece, let's see. Looking for a creature that spits stones out of its mouth. Okay, Octorok. That won't be enough on its own to make it a real zippy automaton. We'll need a bit more inventive to yeah. apart. Something in a firework that wishes in the air would be great for the X or something. I have it already. It's a guy up on Elden Volcano Crest Fireworks. So you might check it. Got that a long time ago. Wrote it down in my journal, so I'll look if you need more info. We got one of my finest art pieces if you help me out on this. It'll be worth it. Dompe needs something that matches his vision. Show him a monster that spits stones in battle. Also a firework. You can find a fireworks artisan on Elden Volcano. 
Okay, cool. Seen that already. Okay, firework and any kind of Octorok. Presumably, we got Fire Octo should work. Yep, okay. Oh, what do you look at that? Well, we have a gander. It said it matches my concept perfectly. Thanks for finding it for me. Okay, just need the firework. Find a fireworks. Already in. Got that already. Should be relatively close. We used to use it pretty often before we had good aerial options. There we go. Here we are. Oh, what do you look at that? It's shooting. Hmm, let me have a gander. Oh, but it's not breaking because we're in a pause. In order it breaks after three shots. Okay, cool. Well, see this already and give us our Octorok. Oh, it's fast, but stone so fast, so fierce, so flashy. And for the finishing touch, the firework rockets go here. Yahoo! And. Aha, uh -huh, now that's what I call Sensei Automaton. Who am I call this little fellow that talked to rock like a clock? Have a blast. All of them seem a bit explosive. You got the talk to rock. It's now the automaton that shoots fireworks with relentless glee. Where you can make good use of it on your journey, and you hope it breaks, you know where to find me. And what's next? The new automaton is complete. The talked rock that Dompe made is an automaton that continuously shoots fireworks. And fireworks pour continuously out of this dangerous automaton's mouth, causing flashy destruction. And we can... can't really strafe with that. And... Nice! It's a fun combination. Oh wow, that damage is insane. DPS, DPS is ridiculous. And you can get about 30 or something before it's done. Wow. Wonder if it'll damage itself with its explosions. No, it won't. Okay. Good. And if I put you down and then get the other one out, it would. Yeah, we can only have one out at once because they're pretty strong. And then C, and then we. Okay, you can have automatons and echoes out at the same time. Performance artist endless stomach chop it in two. Performance artist. Performance artist, a cute, fancy automaton that plays a chipper little tune and puts on a show. Oh, that's probably for that music box. When caught your eye, huh? Figured you've got good taste. Anywho, as usual, I need the proper inspiration. Set me on fire, so I'm hoping you'll have me again. The basis of this new art piece. See, I think a jiggly monster with cute little eyes would do the trick. Probably a soul. There won't be enough on its own to make the automaton musical. Need a part that makes beautiful tones. I feel like I heard something melodic around high range at some point. I got that, okay. So I wonder how I'll show that. Okay. Already got that. J show him a jiggly and adorable monster. Also a part that makes beautiful sounds. He says you see your lovely sound in the city of Hyrule Ranch. Let's put down any kind of Zol. And there we are. Oh, what do look at that? Okay, there we go. And we got the music box. Let me think there's still one more step to sort out. Got that already, though. But I can't put that down. And show that to him. An automaton needs some repairs. I want to chat. Okay, let's chat. My automatons are super duper flashy. They're works of art and work like a charm. I'm sure, I'll put them to good use. At least I think so. So we probably have to show that to one automaton. And which automaton should I make? Performance artist. So we have the music box. I have a closer look at what you got there. It's beautiful. You can make the automaton with this. I can have your prismatic music box right. It's all yours. All right, I'll take it off your hands. What? Okay, let's see what this makes. I wonder if we can use it for a music test or... Because I thought when I saw it in Harwood Ranch, the music box, I thought it would be for a music test. Squishy cute plush form. Yes, I'll bring these elements forward in this creation. How do you make a metal plush? And next I'll combine it with a prismatic music box. So that's what that's, that's, what that's for. Yahoo! And... Uh -huh. Ta-da! I've dubbed this one Gizmo. Gizmo and Zol. Have fun with it. Hmm. Got the Gizmo. This cute one sings and dances, scouting groups of monster with the monsters with its playful antics. I hope make good use of it on your journey. Okay. Let's see what else. You know, automaton is complete. The gizmo that Dompe made is a cute singing and dancing my singing monsters automaton that scatters monsters with colorful music notes. Interesting. Filling the world with its sparkling songs, this cute clockwork kitty breaks hearts and enemies. Huh. Let's check. Wind that. What is this gonna do? And. Oh, okay. 
Just attacks in all directions. Presumably those explode. Okay. Next one. And it even... No, I can move through those. And with stomach. Oh, and with stomach. Concept an automaton that can gobble up any monster anytime. Probably a big Deku Baba. I wouldn't caught your eye, huh? I figured you've got good taste, anywho. So you just want to need the proper inspiration to send me on fire, so I'm hoping you'll help me again. The basis of this new art piece, let's see, is a starting point for a creature that swallows things whole with its massive jaws, but it won't be enough on its own. In the special part, they can spring things to clamp down on things. The trap we got from the acorn collecting. I think the god who spreads acorns is just such a tool. I wrote it down in my journal, so I'll look at any more info. Finest art pieces, yeah. Also a part that clamps firmly onto things. There's an acorn enthusiast who can help. And, yep, yeah, that's the trap we got earlier. Steel trap with sharp pointy teeth. It doesn't work anymore. It's too dangerous to use. Well, fine with me. Okay. Hmm. wonder if a normal Deku Baba would work if we need, or if we need the big one from Pharaon. Let's try both. And... Oh, what do you look at that? And not enough. Yeah, it doesn't really fit with my concepts. Sure, it's got strong jaws, but I don't think it swallowed its prey whole. Can't compromise from art. You're going to need to keep looking. Up, we need the bigger Deku Baba then. Okay. Wonder what happened. We put down the water Baba. Probably not big enough, right? Oh, what do you look at that? Or and that's okay. No, any of the bigger ones. That's it. It matches my concept perfectly. Thanks for finding it for me. One more step. We need the trap. Okay, we got that though. And one automaton. And with stomach. Let me have a closer look at what you got there. It's beautiful. Oh well, yeah, I can use this on the automaton. That is if you'll give me the steel trap. Can't use it for anything else. All yours. All right, I'll take it off your hands. Okay. Let's see what we get out of this. Big Baba. <clears throat> Big bitey Baba. I'm going to give this one a real spiffy head and huge jaws. But great big teeth you have. And then the steel trap are real strong chompers. Ah And... Uh huh, now that's what it calls Nazi Autopton. Crunch, I'm calling it High Tech You Baba, High Tech Deku you Baba. What it feasts freely. That's really cool looking. Uh, the High Tech you Baba. Yeah. This hungry little Autopton will gobble up any nearby monsters. It shops pretty modestly. So we'll munch up more rupees than anything else a monster is carrying. Hope you make good use of it on your journey. And who, if it breaks, you know where to find me. One more left. This new the new automaton is complete. The high-tech Obama that Dompe made is an automaton that will indiscriminately devour any monster it sees. This automaton is a big clockwork appetite that swallows up any monster it can reach in one gulp. Okay, let's wind that. Oh, and this is even bigger than the other Deku Baba. Wow. I think. Hmm. And let's check for the last one. What do you want to read? Chop them in two. Chop him in two. Concept of Furious Autopton, they can slice through anything blocking its path. Oh, you probably need the sword for that. I'm gonna call you right, huh? Figured you've got good taste, anywho. As usual, I need the proper inspiration to set me on fire. So I'm hoping you'll help me again for the basis of this new art piece. Let's see. Keep an eye out for a monster with a sword who fights alongside others. Moblin? That won't be enough on its own. This Autopton or the Fighting Spirit still need a special weapon. I heard the leader of the Jojo in Kakariko Village has a rare sword. I wrote it down in my journal, so I'll have a look if you need more info. I've got one of my finest art pieces if you help me out on this, it'll be worth it. And, okay. Show him a monster that can wield a sword and tends to fight in a group. Also a very short part. The Felon Kakariko Village's dojo may have such a part. Let's put down our big sword mob one. And, oh, what do you look at that? Molly Amagandra. And we got that. So we gotta get that sword. Interesting. Hmm. Let's go over and check. Just what I might be able to do there. See if I've got any challenges unlocked that would be good there. We've got better echoes, which is good. That might be the bonus reward for that boss rush from before, maybe. Given that I was able to get the fan from the Mango game before beating Hyrule Castle, by just being good at things. All right, I'll get a Seer Dream Disciple. Looks like you've had a few more experiences since the last month. That means new training. Slumber's Path was long before you. Okay, let's do this. Is there many dream options? Moblin's Revenge, defeat an unruly horde of Moblins. Okay, Moblin is relevant. I bet this might give it to me. Let's see. Gonna give me that sword? Your training begins now. Close your eyes. Feel your energy flowing within you. Huh? 
And for this training, after relying on your skills alone, you won't be able to use drinks or items that restore your hearts. Cool time to 60 seconds, begin. So probably put down a big dark nut and then use the Teku Bob or something. Yeah, that, that's a good option. And let me just wind that up. And let's just see how we can get in. And there we go, nice. Start eating, thank you. Go ahead. And you are slow, but we can keep you in range. That's all right. We can actually just keep you in range there. And wow, simple. Okay. And open your eyes. Done 23.98 seconds. Lucky split. You're even faster than gold time. That's great solar. Let me give you a reward and red rupee. Okay, and it's people like that makes you quite the power napper. Performance like that deserves a special reward. Just monster stones. Okay, I got three monster stones. Ice from the lies of monsters. You've grown powerful in your napper. Yeah, I do believe I can now interrupt this dojo to stand in Katana if you need a. Eh? It's yours now. I won't ask for it back, and you can use it however you like. Now we can make a new automaton. Just don't go swinging it around or running with it. That would be dangerous. And got an heirloom katana. Supposedly this katana is so sharp you can cut through anything. I say that about every sword. It was just collecting dust in the slumber dojo. If you pass your training just two more times, I'll have an astounding reward for you. Maybe a piece of heart. If you're looking for new training dreams, I'll need to go have some more experiences first. Interesting. Okay. Not that many more items. A katana that was collecting dust in the slumber dojo is said to be so sharp you can cut through anything. We're going to this training hut. First I thought sleeping while standing up was just a weird trick to do, but you... You're making it seem like a really cool, weird trick to do. Let's go and get that katana to Dompe. See if he has any more automatons after this. That might be everything. Either way, I imagine that it's going to be a really, really strong one. Okay. Twisty smoothies are cool, but we'll be okay. Nice thing is it's going to be two strong options. Give that to you. Let's check that again one more time. Yep, said to be sure sharp, we can cut through anything. And chop him in two. We have a closer look at what you got there, it's beautiful. This is great for making the automaton, so long as you let me have that arrow katana, here we go. Right, I'll take it off your hands. And I wonder if you'll have any more after this. Okay. And alright, I'll build a fearless automaton who can do the sword justice. We'll just install this rugged looking helmet. Mecha mob one. And well, huh? Now that's what I call Snazzy Atabaton. Slicey, this one, one's name is Robobin, Robot Mobin, Haggy Slashy. And. Got the Robo Boin. Oh, and he's got the Sheet, too. Our work of art shreds up monsters with its blade, cuts right through their defenses. I hope you make good use of it on your journey. Okay. And anything else? Oh, we got something else. New Atabaton is complete. The Robo Boin that Dante made is an Atabaton that cuts down monsters when strike with its deadly blade. Monsters of no defense against the Robo Boin. Got more stuff in the journal. Get rich quick. Concept of Sparkling Gold Automaton who really breaks in the door. I wonder what the fan would be for that. Uh -huh. So you read my notes, eh? You finally come up with an idea about how to turn that meaning of a crow into an automaton. Bring that crow, will ya? I figured that critter would look all dandy, go all glitter and gold. Still need a real special flashy something made with the fan. Speaking of, okay, and that's it. I think I met a Jerota who's got a real shiny thing. Memory serves, she was researching something at the Oasis in Jerota Desert. Got one of my finest art pieces to be helping on this, it'll be worth it. Write it down in my journal, so have a look if you need more info. And just the crow, we gotta show it then. Even though we are definitely have it already. Well, you could actually skip the crow. Just show him a flying monster that steals rupees. Also a shiny, extra showy object, a druid at the oasis, or something like that. Yep, right here. Oh, so I guess all of these are automaton related, maybe? Four more is interesting. Okay, so this was also technically, since that gave us the firework for the other one as well, and so maybe 10 in total of every one of these is for an automaton. Interesting. Try Robo Boyan, deadly mechanical sword fighter who's flashing a blade to take out whole groups of enemies. Wow. Okay, let's just see how this works. Sort of an Yaijutsu kind of thing. Yaijutsu kind of thing. Okay, so if there are no enemies around, we won't do anything. And let's put the crow down. Yep. Yeah. Oh, what do you look at that? Let me have a gander. Okay. And we're stepped a short out. We need the fan. Four more items after this from somewhere then. And. Get rich quick. 
I have a closer one to we got there. It's beautiful. Oh, that'll do. I can have this golden pan right, of course. All right, I'll take it off your hands. Okay. You can try some of the other boss rushes. Some of the other... Oh, missions now. That dark knight's gonna be real good. I hope you'll make a sparkling gold automaton. It'll be my finest work yet. I'll use a golden fan for this part. The feathers, presumably. Yahoo! And... Now that's what it costs as the automaton. Zingmeat goldfinch sparkle away. That, that's cool looking. Got the goldfinch. This is my flashiest automaton to date. It'll attack enemies and send their rupees flying. Even better, if you want up the clockwork key, you can hold the flashy thing up and glide to fly. I hope you make good use of it on your journey. You know, I'm feeling pretty complete. I think that's all my heart wants to make now. I've never felt so light so free, and it's all because of you. Thank you, my friend. Is that all? Or there's four more of those item slots, but... The automaton is complete. The goldfinch that Dompe made is an automaton that scatters rupees from enemies. In addition, you can hold onto it and glide while it's active. The fact that four more would give it even rows. Clockwork Roar that knocks rupees out of the enemies it strikes. It can glide indefinitely until it winds down. Hmm. Interesting. And... How much time? Ah, now it's up high goes for a while. Yeah. Now that I'm done making automatons, we're all showing my special treasure. Cool. I call it the Clockwork Bangle. If you wear it, you'll have an easier time with your automatons. Uh -huh. Tell me, yeah, you want it, don't you? Well, if you assist, I suppose I can part with it. Cool. If you want anything, I'll trade it for Fram Monster Stones. That's easy. Great. And there we go. Uh. One, two, three. Yep, that's all of them. Wouldn't it be one, two, three, four, five? With that done, you can take this. A man can't count. Got a Clockwork Bangle. Don't pay craft this simple accessory, which will help you wind the clockwork key faster. Nice. This only will be able to wind the clockwork key even faster. Uh huh. Wonder where the four remaining items are then. Wonder if we'll get more inspiration after more story progress. And clockwork bangle, simple accessory crafted by Don and helps you wind the clockwork key faster. So we've gotten. We haven't gotten electricity resistance or fire resistance as items yet. That might not show off as items. I need something, I want to chat. My automatons are super duper flashy. Okay, nothing new. And nothing yet. Can't even check that. I feel complete. All of my visions have now come to life. So I guess that's the end of all of his automatons. Huh. All the ones we need to make. I. Let's actually see what the goldfinch will do then. Knocks rupees out of enemies. Hello. And there we are. Oh, goodness. How much HP does this thing have? Come on. Hi. Hmm. Go ahead. Oh, and it... This is just for making money. Okay. Hits an enemy and they vomit money. Well, after... After the first time. Okay. Interesting. That... Oh, and it even grabs them for us, too. That's an interesting farming idea. Interesting. Hmm. Cannot wind it up while holding it. I mean, while finding it. Go ahead. It's an interesting way to farm. That gave a lot, too. Very slow attacker, since this is just for making money. But that's a pot of money. It's just... Hyrule's economy is in shambles. That's ridiculous. Okay. Come on. I'll just put you away then. Oh, please. There we go. We're up a bit too high. So in that case, I'm gonna go back to Kakoviko. Test it on that boss rush. The automatons can break, but they seem to have good durability, unless I'm stupid about it. Mm -mm. I imagine that Robo Boyne. Not quite sure. The Zol might actually be good, too. Wonder how I could do some kind of DPS check. Well, whatever. So let's try this out. Waiting for your mighty slumber. Surely you've slept far, young one. Could you do some training and work to close your inner eyes? I'm ready. It's not like there's a many of dream options. Let's get back on some of them from before. Your training begins now. So big dark nut in the Robo. And Robo Bloom would probably be good yeah. options for taking up bunches of enemies. Is training off for your skills alone? Okay, Gold Top is 110. Begin. 
All right, and honestly, we'll just put in our big dark net on the other side. Don't even need that then, and Robo Blend. Let me see, just can't test that there. That's a shame. Wind that up while well, they stay a bit. Okay, cool. Now we can send in Robo Blend. Cool. Nice, there you go, and. Oh, oh my goodness! That's insane! That. Real good damage. But. Rather slow. Hmm. Yeah. Open your eyes. Nah. Only two, 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 four, two, four point one six seconds. That's astounding. I never imagined it could be done so fast. Straight so Let me give you a reward and some grapes. And special reward. If you pass your training just two more times, I'll have an astounding reward for you. What can we do? Training dreams. Let me go have some more experiences yeah. first. Okay. So I guess the special reward was just the grapes. Let's try this one. Training begins now. I bet putting a moth will do some things would be good. Send the moth will send the crow. After all, on your skills one, you won't be able to use drinks or items that restore your hearts. Okay. Big moth will. I could handle stuff on this side, presumably. Send you down and over. And we can get to Deku bobbing in the meantime, I think. Let's pull your head off. Cool. And, alright, thanks. And, pull the head. Pull, pull, pull. Alright, there we go. That knocked me off, but that's okay. I'll be alright. What? The moth would do a few more things, and yet another Deku Bob is there. Come on. And, can I? Hmm. I mean, got a swim speed boost or whatever. What? The way we can get back over here, you handled some of that for us. That's good, and alright. So the last one left is, of course. Oh goodness. Let's send you down and one over there and that it? Nice. Let's see if that was the time target. Hmm. Yeah. Open your eyes. And nah. only 46.29 seconds. That's astounding. I never imagined it could be done so fast. That was right, Silver. Let me give you a reward. Just river horses. Okay. Got five river horses. Two more times, but we don't have any options yet. Okay, tree of slept far. Let's try that. Boss rush from before time is gathering. But I suppose you have faced so far. Your training begins now. Okay, close your eyes. Feel your energy flowing within you, huh? Okay. Material possessions will be available. Fight with everything. Your goal time is 10. Hmm. Wonder what fastest would be here then. Hmm. Sword Mullen's a good option, but. Well, oh my goodness, didn't expect that. Put Sword Moblin down, and then maybe wind up the Robo one. It's an idea. Cool. And we'll wind you up. Cool. And... Oh, goodness. No, you're back over there, so we can try pulling that. Or not. Okay, I... Oh, my goodness. Robo Gwen is Robo Broken. It's not good. That's out at least. And... Oh... No, we can wind that up. Okay, cool. And the sword moblin down. That might have been a timing issue. And slash. Slash again. And mm, no, we messed that up. Yeah, we gotta put the moblin down first. Let's try that one more time. Dark Knight would probably be good. Mm. What are the reward for the boss rushes then? Mm. Well, you didn't succeed this time. Yeah, whatever. We should use that clockwork bangle, frankly. In the end, actually, it's a couple of turns would probably be a better option. Main thing is, no horse attack needed. We don't really use the horse. Okay, let's try that one more time. I'm ready. And Titan's Gathering again. Okay. I think the Dark Knight would probably be even better than Sword Moblin. It's a bit harder to get to in the first place. We could try. Okay. One, go, and... Okay. Snick Talos is there, and let's pull that out at dodge. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There we go, and Dark Nut. Big Dark Nut, and there we are, and let's put Robo Boy down, and... Cool, that should be one attack. Or not. 
Or not. Okay, and... We miss. Okay, and... Mm -hmm. There we go. No, we can put in the Dark Nut. Very good. Oh my goodness. That damage is really nice, then. That moved everything away. Okay, cool. And... Now we pull. Thank you. Alright. Pull that out. Dark Nut and Robo Blim. Two. Should be good enough. Let's go ahead and do Slash. There we go. Okay. One boss down. Two more to go. Question is... How am I going to deal with the Boca Vord best? Probably actually manually moving the Chomping to break itself on the back. Question is what I can really do underwater right here. Okay. And... Still Chomping. Actually, I wonder if I could use the Zolfos. And just... Thank you, and... Oh, never mind. I, oh, goodness. Come on. I... That did not quite work. Huh. Oh, okay. So they can't do things while floating. They can make jumps, but that's it, really. Okay. There we go. And... That was... No, chomping so good here. Just spawn it back in. It back again. Okay, and we should... Oh, goodness. Okay, all right, and... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Go ahead and spin. Here we are. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. We're missing. There we are. Now we can move on to the next phase. And now, I think, the best option to blow you up would be actually putting the firework down. And let's... Oh, no. That isn't hitting. Come on. I, okay. Once we've got the right spot for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and... Okay, try that one more time, and... Shoot. Never mind. Okay. Thanks. There we go. And who can we put down? Probably the Dark Nut. I... Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. Interesting and not in a good one. Okay, and... Can I try that again, and... Thanks. Ooh. Hmm. Chomping could do it. Chomping could do it. I, oh, never mind. I, what am I doing here? Let's... I'll get those back, so I'm okay with that. Okay, and... Hate you so much. And an, another or not. Okay, cool. I, okay. Wind is not great. I don't... No, we can't. We can't. We can't do that. Okay, and... Can I... Pull you up again? Oh, never mind. There we go. Okay. Let's put down our Dark Nut then, and... Robo Gwen and Wandu up. Well, that killed. Okay. <sighs> now it's time for Mogriff. Mm -mm. mm -mm. wonder if I could have the Octorok shoot it while it's in the air. Having something with a range would be a good idea. I'll have to do some autopilot switching there, probably. Okay, whatever. Okay, cat statue will work. And... Well, also, we can just put you down here. And... Yeah. Alright. And... Cool. How many phase transitions are you going to try to do? It... Let's just see. What can we do that will get someone in the air? And... Or... Cat statue. And... Nice. Thank you. Yeah, you're already flying. Okay, cool. And let's down Robo Boyne and Y once. And now you're in the air. Now you're actually in the air. Okay, let's switch your anti quicksand stuff. Hello, hello. I mm. think a Wizro could be. Good one, maybe. Well, let's put Fire Wiz down. And cool. And, okay, come on, stab away that, and how much damage are we going to deal? Yep, make sure you evade that, and, ooh, no, we're moving, moving out of the way, I, come on, now we got to put a statue down the block, cool, and, 
Thank you. Nice. Fire. I mean, Dark Nut and Robo Blend. Spin. Go for a slash. Mmm, that didn't quite do it. Okay, one slash from Robo Blend is a great idea, but I. Come on. Fire Whiz. Change. Oh, I, never mind. I don't like this. And. That. Okay. Hmm. Tough. And shoot. Ah, uh, that'll trap you. That'll get you. Something like that. And help me. Oh, that got stuck in the tornado. Come on, come on. And that killed us. Nice. Let's see if we got under that time target. Interesting stuff. Okay. I wonder what the reward we're getting under time target here would even be. All right. Yeah. Open your eyes. Nah. Only three minutes, 43.86 seconds. That's astounding. I never imagined it could be done so fast. Because we had so many want to give you a reward. And it's just butter. Seven things of butter. Okay. Well, all right. Hmm. So, two more and we'll get some other reward. That's all right. Oh, well, we're always open for all your slumbering needs. I think I'm gonna go check out these other little rifts. See what kind of strength I could get from that. But we made a lot of robots. We finally got the ability to make five cost echoes, which is very meaningfully nice. Hmm. There should be something over here. See how fast you'll attack. Not good defense is, but. Dark Nut's definitely a bit more directly offensive. Yep, and we just got a rift right here. Cool. Random little rifts. I can create an entrance here. Stand next Zelda. What are we going to get out of this? And... Hmm. Doesn't really connect to much of anything. Okay, I can sense my friends here. They're trapped. They're trapped in four years to be exact. Rescue them all, we can fix this rift. And... Hmm, still the lower southern forest. Okay. And I can't jump that. I think I hear a pea hat. Hmm. Which way? And we got stuff over here. I... Seems like dark nut time. Oh well. And I... Could honestly try roller one. This should be really good damage to everything here. And... Oh, yeah! That's really, really good. Insane damage on that. Okay. That it, it said it is slow to the point that honestly winding up multiple times is not even worth it. Hmm. Much to think about. Get one of those. One try friend. Cool. Wonder if the automatons will maintain have their health restored every time they're deployed or maintain damage between deployments, because that would make a difference in how I can use them. Oh and look, we got a P hat right there. Oh a B hat. Let's send a fire whiz rub at you. This hit. That will hit. Nice. And, oh, right, that teleportation's doing a real good job. Thank you! So happy to actually have the use of the wizard now. Come on. And grab that, and I can't get that all that easily then. <laughs> Anything here, or... No, nothing. That's just a way to get back down. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. And, all right. Hmm. Try this out. Okay. Oh, right! We can make a fifth water block now. I didn't even think about that. So we got used to that five women in my head. Became my own worst obstacle. And okay, that was a mess up. Okay, let's get back in here. And... Cool. It's on something, so that's not an issue. And I think up over this way. Yep, there was. Fun. 
It's this water bridge over. There we go. Mm. All right. And slice up the rest of that. And one of these crates is some try stuff. Let's break one of those, break another, and get another try friend. Cool. And in that case, the rest is... Hmm. So one more. Where would it be? I... Hmm. It's actually a little mysterious. Maybe the other direction. Yeah, probably over... Oops. Luckily, no. Void out damage. Okay, yeah, it's right over here. Hello, hello. I... Let's actually just... Put the robo one down now. Wind it up all the way. Then once anything shows up, we'll be more than well equipped. Oh, there I. Come on. Nice. Nice. Come on, come on. And... Mm, not enough range to slash there. Will you see me? The robo one's got five slashes here. And... You don't take damage from that yet. And... Oops. But that's death. That's just death. Insane. Zelda bad. Gonna be two hearts probably. At least one and a half. Okay, cool. I just... It's so nice having this thing. It's so good. Okay. And... Might be good to actually put that down before the other Echo. Just make sure it... If I'm trying to combo the Robo Wind with the Echo, it might be good to put down Robo Wind first or just with Slash. Think of how I can take advantage of boss windows. We found all of my friends in this area. Now we can mend this rift. Cool. And got a couple more of the small rifts around. Hmm. All right. My friends have shared power with me. My friends shared some of their power with me, and that's an okay amount. Some my crystals. I wonder what the reward, if any, for getting all of them will be. Two my crystals from Trials. So let's go back to your world now. And there was no lasting treasure in here, so that rift's just gone. We're gonna portal back in. Only ones that can be re-entered seem to be ones associated with dungeons, which makes sense. And yep, forest has been healed. And I. Wait, there was something up top there? Wait, I didn't... Huh? Is that always there? Or... Either way, now that I'm here again, I can check it. But it does seem like the rift changed the behavior of this area a bit. Yeah, that was nothing. And can't get up all the way there quite yet. See what this is. And it's a red ruby. Cool. Mm. It does seem like the area changed a bit as a result of that rift. Maybe. Maybe. Well, that was probably always there. Probably. Whatever. Okay. Go ahead, chop that down. Thank you. Mm, but. Check around this general vicinity just to make sure I... Come on. Killing the snake for no real reason. And... Again, at least it got me to check the place. Hmm. Yeah, that... That's okay. And will this... Yeah, that's just a one tap. Okay. So in that case, and that does look rather new to me. Let me just see... I just want to make sure. Mm -mm. Didn't really mark that area previously is the thing. And I... Yeah, that's Faron. That's... I didn't mark that at all, ever. No pictures taken. Huh. No point of comparison for me, then. Either way, we got more rifts. Alright. 
One here, one in Jabal. I can handle that. That's okay. We'll see what might be changed around the area of the rift. If anything. Who knows? Alright. So that's just up there. Mm -hmm. Water should do it. One, two, three. Already there. And let's check around the area. Doesn't look like there's anything different. But there's an entrance into the rift. We can create an entrance here, stand back Zelda. Wonder if we'll get some special reward for just getting rid of all rifts, even the small ones. Because again, that would be necessary for getting every light crystal too. Mm. Mm. There's a cave right there. I can sense my friends here. They're trapped. They're trapped in four areas to be exact. To rescue them all, we can fix this rift. Okay. Still northern Gerudo Desert. How much of it is just in that cave then? Mm. Oh, and look, a redad. Awesome. And I. Oh. Probably gotta try to use the redad too. Oh, well, none of the other tiles are doing much of anything. That's good, I guess. And, well, okay. Come on, and let's put the robo one down. And I bet... No, that wasn't even necessary. The Dark Knight just did it. It's that strong. Okay. Thank you. Tornado of Death. Okay. Let's go back up then. Can't see some things over there. I can bad bridge that. You can also use a flying tile. Which, also you can... Apparently you can basically make while jumping, if you time it right, you can jump onto flying tiles as you make them with the frog stuff. It's an interesting idea. Oh, but I didn't even, I didn't even think about that. I literally got the Giro before that boy's wind and didn't even think to use it, to use it on the dunes in the desert. I already had a wind option. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter now. We already got a lot of sources of wind then. We got the tornado, we got the wind cannon, we've got the gust master and yeah i got the gust master before that too i'm i'm so stupid gust master and then is your own. honestly a lot of sources of wind thank you another try friend cool and there we go let's use that tile nice tile again Eventually it will lose coherence and break on its own, that's right. Sun up there, we can just use our water, I suppose, yeah. So the best vertical option. Well, the spider, I guess, would have no limit, but there's no wall for it to cling to. Okay. Let's use our tile again. And, oh baby, we got... Moblins don't like that, and weren't coming down. Okay, so let's send in our Robo Boy, and one turn. Oh goodness, don't, don't do that, don't do that. And come on, yep, took some damage, but that was more than good enough. And okay, you're still alive. You're still alive. You're taking damage, but you're still alive. Okay. I do wonder if that accumulates. Oh, but that was. The end there, we found all my friends in this area, now we can end this rift. Okay. There's nothing lasting there, that's okay. So we didn't go around the other way. Hmm. Well, alright. There's nothing in here other than, there, there's no chest in here. Terrain? I did miss a little bit of terrain, and I feel bad about that. For example, in Metroid games, I really like to get every single map tile highlighted. Even though it's always pointless. Just these big empty rooms. Friends shared some of their power with me. Alright. Cool. More my crystals. Got two my crystals from Try. So let's go back to your world now. Okay. So in that case, might be some more questions. The Zora villages, but mostly it's just gonna be. Yeah, there's nothing new in here, right? I wouldn't imagine. 
Same old, same old flying tile cave. Yeah. Just keep on moving. Already been through here, and yeah, we can... That's all. Okay, so then let's go to... Zora's River. Clear up that last rift. Okay. Mm -hmm. A small rift. So we got you in here. Hello. Welcome to the River Zora Village, where friendly hills and good times flow. That's why it should be relaxing up here by the easy streams of Jabal waters. Wish I could play Kishore. Your music is so beautiful. I shouldn't have said that in your boss rather. We want to be real funny. And shopkeeper. Welcome, how can I help you? I'd like to chat. Try not go way back. You split a girl town when we were kids. Yeah, still face pretty good when you get right into it. That's why we chose them to be our chief. Okay. Still need that final stamp. Our house is all ponds under our floors. It makes it much easier to reach for a fishy snack. Goodness. Let's see where the other rivers are. Any more quests or... My house got wrecked during that whole war job job mess, but now it's fixed. But every room here, the Sea Zora Village and Seaside Village shoe pitch in a repair. So incredibly thankful, oh my home, and now it's back to normal. This is a splash, this water is cold and pretty cool too. Look at we saw that already. What's in the house? And okay, there's a pond. Any rupees underneath or something? No, there's nothing. It's just now there's a house where there was no not a house previously. Oh that on fire. Probably not. Let's put down a brazier anyway. Why that campfire? Can't light the campfire. I mean the fire pit, not a campfire. It's in a house. He's not camping in his own house. Okay. And you? My son has never liked water? Okay. I'm glad he's just going it for now. Thank you for your help. What we actually... Same. Dalla is a quest. Hello. If we work together to fix up anything that was broken like houses and bridges, I met friends with one of the Caesar who came here to help. Here. And drown these people. I left for the Resort Village a long time ago, but came back right away. Water was icky away from home. Give me Java waters forever. You and you know what was Zelda High there? Got a lot to do, looking to all that damage caught done by that imposter or Jabu Jabu. I love staying busy, especially if it helps the boss out. With Zelda, have you seen the Zoro who helps him with smaller tasks around here? Went down to the sea, but it hasn't come back. He's no minnow, but I shouldn't worry, so I shouldn't worry about it. Hmm. Wonder if that's some kind of quest? Yep. Well, I can send him back or something. If I should. Either way, there's another tiny rift up here. Good stuff, and okay, you are still over here. Oh well. Standing here, looking up at the sky, all my cares just drift away. You should try it sometime, you look like you're always on the go. Okay, but it does seem, based on what I tried, that actually putting the robo one down first is a pretty bad idea. Because it means that it ends up getting aggro and taking hits, which I don't want it to. And it doesn't make it attack all that much faster either, but let's oh, close this rift. I can create an entrance here. Stand back Zelda. Alright. I really do wonder how the world map will change after the final set of dungeons, presumably, because one, two, then three. Well, one, two, then one, I guess, because of Hyrule Castle. Then three, I can send some of my friends here, they're trapped. Trapped in three hours to be exact, so this one is smaller. Okay, if we rescue them all, we can fix this rift. Still Eastern Zora River, right? Where we had Upper, and we went into... Oh, goodness. Can't even make that. Whatever. Okay, and can go underwater here. I guess the Lizalvos could do it. Yep. Sure. And, oh, nice. It's good damage, too. But the Lizalvos can't really swim, is the thing. Hmm. Not too big in a vertical sense. Okay. Where are all the try friends? I. Oops. And water block. I wonder if a automaton voiding out would count as them breaking as well. Probably would. Okay. There's some. 
Without moving. The rest, you can get over there. Another one here, if we get high up, we can probably make that jump. Nope, we bonk our head. Oops. And I... Weird that we were far away enough that it spun into the gap. Okay. Thank you. And I... There we go. Should I make that jump? But can I... No, I can't. Well, it's also just too far away. That should do it. Okay, cool. And we just barely get that jump in. So are both of those going to be in that cave? That makes some sense. Okay. Thank you. Let's go down here. Okay. Hmm. Extended platforming segment then. Down here and can't well, we should have jumped. Alright. And cool. Send in the Zolvas level three. And Ooh. Strong. Unpleasant. And stab right through the electricity too. And honestly, it seems like the chomping is actually stronger. I'll have to test that, but it kinda seems that way. Chomfin is all the way back there. Okay, cool. And got you. Go up, why don't you? Or not. Okay, and I. Oops. Okay. At least there's no fall damage from that. Some consolation. Okay. The Zolfus well, does not need to touch the damage, though, and. No, it's about the same. Okay. Uh, okay. And. Stab. There we go. Another try, friend. This one more. Up there, now we can jump back up. Get over here using some of the water blocks. Let's bridge all the way over. Oops. Thank you. Let's go over here. And follow on. Some up there, some down here too. Okay. Now we got that fish. Okay, cool. Oh, we got multiple fish. Oh, if we carry the Lazalfos, then it can attack. Ah, that's how you make that work. That's how you make that work. Okay, now I see. That could have been useful for Vokavore. Yeah, whatever. Maybe I'll try another rematch once I've gotten my true maximum strength. That's the end of that rift. Found all my friends in this area. Now we can bend this rift. So these are just tiny throwaway rifts without anything really being behind it. Mm -mm. One more golden egg, by the way. We'll get every single smoothie. I do wonder what the permanent source of golden eggs is going to be. Okay. My friends shared some of their power with me. And just a little bit. A little bit less, because this is only three instead of four anyway. To my crystals. Okay. 17. Let's, level. Let's go back to your world now. Do you wonder how many more are even left? So once we got the bomb and upgrade that fully, that'd be... We... Forty-five total needed. We have 17 right now, so 28 more sounds about right. Just check. Yeah, because that'd be 130 in total, and that... That's a reasonable sounding number. That's not some sort of out-of-the-blue nonsense. Okay, but also, before this entire area was inaccessible, so I'm gonna check and see what I can do there. That was covered up by the rift connected to Hyrule Castle. At the very least, it's rift closed when we close the Hyrule Castle rift. All right. Mm -mm, that. It's just a stable area. Well, not really stable, but you know what I mean. Alright, so let's just send in our funny dark nut and... Cool, I oh, goodness. It's a good option for AoE. Doesn't even take damage from him. Wow. 
Alright, so let's just see what's in here. Thank you. And... Cool, we'll keep you in place. Or we could just move the dark knot around ourselves manually. Given that we can move faster than it can spin. Hmm. This was what was previously inaccessible, and now we've got a staircase down to something. Let's use a Zelda bed. I think this part was already accessible, if I recall correctly, but that staircase was decidedly not. It was a bit of time since I actually explored this specific area, anyway. Okay, so yeah, let's go down into the staircase and see what I can obtain. Cool. And this is... Got a couple of mic crystals just here. Oh, this is the escape tunnel from the start of the game. Let me just see. We can dive into there. What happens if I try going back and what I'll see? So we got another mic crystal from there, so probably 27 or so left in the game. Dive down. I Oh no, that takes me... All the way there. And I... Oh, okay. But there was that other river part. And yep, that just takes you to the beach cave. Near the start of the game. Let's go the other way, down that diving hole. Because that just makes me completely lose control. Hmm... I wonder if we'll get any kind of Kurt Resistance accessory. Maybe I'll get an electric current Resistance one. Either way, Fire Wizard murders Piats. Thank you. And there we are. Good stuff. Quick to fire, so they take damage over time, and then Wizard's just strong, too. Let's go the other way and not do what I did before then. Okay. Alright, go down in here and there's this hole. If I... If I bind, I can bring this down. Yep, no longer a problem. Cool. Now we can go back through the Royal Family Shortcut. It's nice. And let's just break that just to be funny. Pull that up and... Let me see. There's still that one spot in near Jabal Waters that needs me to resist a crimson. and I'm not sure how I'll do that. Yeah, now this is no problem at all, because I can simply use Bind to get back out. It's cool how now we can go reverse when at the start of the game this was a purely one-way path. Now we can pull this rock. We'll push, push this rock away. See what happens when we go back through. There is a treasure chest in here, and... I think that might be it. What is this? It's... Oh, a golden egg. The final one I need. Well, that was an okay reward, I suppose. For my poking around. Let's go back to the funny... Shop and make the final smoothie. Do you wonder if we'll get any kind of acknowledgement that we've made literally every combination of smoothie ingredients ever, period. Oh, but right! Since we teleported here during that quest, it's showing us most of Fair and Wetlands, or giving us the scenic view. So I guess that means this will be the first place I go. It's kind of been... I kind of feel like I have to now that I've triggered its intro. I mean, this was the first place I went after the start anyway, but there are rifts all around here. One of them looks pretty big. Should we go and take a look at it? Rift in the fear on wetlands. We had something from the shop. What do you mean I have? Okay. Come candy. Okay. Hello. Smoothie shop. Hey there, welcome to smoothie shop. What can I do for you? And we've made... Can check just to be sure that we are about to make our final smoothie. Just going through every combination. 
The one thing I didn't make, I believe, was butter and egg, which again is basically just an omelet. A lot of those are just standard golden smoothies. Got a lot of money. We could just have golden smoothies made even without the ingredients now. And just golden. I haven't had the butter combination yet. And golden, golden, golden tough. Golden unfortunate. Another golden unfortunate. Fortunate, tough potion, and trash, and that's also trash, so butter and egg. Let's see. And, oh, your smoothie, golden radiant smoothie, you got a golden radiant smoothie, creamy and flavorful, this smoothie bursts with umami and a delicate complexity. What? Yep, they're acknowledging the fact that we made every single combination. Incredible, who could have guessed that there were so many ways to smooth in food. We can't thank you enough for your help, but let me try by giving you these. And it's just a bunch of golden eggs, 10 golden eggs. Incredible that we finally documented all the ways you can blend food with other food. With this many products, we could open up even more shops. Time to start dreaming big. Oh, sorry, got lost in my thoughts. Thanks again, and may the road ahead of you be smooth. E. Okay. That's our reward. Hey there, welcome to the smoothie shop. What can I do you for? Are the only ones buying smoothies? Cotton candy, that's all they want. When the shop first opened, I was sure it'd be a success, but so far, I'm not giving up, though. Smoothies will have their moment, just you wait. And let's just check our smoothie decks. Wow. Really? That's how many valid combinations there are? Well, I guess it's 70 with the unfortunate one, but really? Really? Okay. That number? Okay. All right. And that's all of it. Fair enough. It's your business, sir. You're the only customer I've had all day. Hmm. Well... Rift in the Theron Wetlands, search for entrances to the Rift in the Theron Wetlands, the Mendon. There are a few rifts in the area, maybe you should start with the biggest one. So in that case, in that case, I think I will return. Also, the fact that the Dancer's Fan didn't end up being given to her, instead was used to make an automaton, comes as a surprise to me. Also, it was a stealth mission. In that case, Sora Cove is going... Go over and see who's around here. See if there are any quests in the Seasora village. Okay. Hello, hello. My aunt's showed me the word sculpture that's shaped like a fish tail. Let's go in this. Saw that already. I don't think I could cart those kinds of curves if I tried. Hello. And are oh, you the highland who saved our waters? She fish our spoke kindly with you. I'm sure she'd be delighted if you visited her. Oh, let me see, it must be me. Has Chief Kishara been avoiding me? What else could it be so suddenly rogue, huh? Must have done something wrong. She must think me an unreliable assistant. Wait, is Zelda, I fear you've heard me going on about my predicament. See if Chief Kishara has been acting a little peculiar lately. She's been leaving our village often ever since her troubles with the rift stop. Tried talking with Drad. It when asked what's taking away from us so frequently, she says it's nothing at all. Did found out, however, that Chief Kishara has been consulting Chief Drad on some matter. This isn't unusual, given they were friends long before they were chiefs. Mm. We're used to hear her relying on all the Caesar too, since so it makes me feel quite uneasy. Oh. Lady Zelda, mm. I have trouble to ask Chief Dread about this mysterious matter. Perhaps you can get an answer. I suspect that Chief Kishara told him to keep it away from me. Oh. I'll give you anything you ask me to return, just please help me with this terrible situation. Secret Chief talks. Chief Kishara's assistant Rogma is worried that his chief is acting strangely. He hopes he'll ask Dread about what she's been discussing with him in private. If something is troubling Chief Kishore, then it's our duty to help her. Mm. Please could you have Chief Shroud, what her chief has been discussing with him. Okay, and that's the cave from before, where the Zora kid was. Should be a sea Zora somewhere around here. I mean a river Zora somewhere around here, I think. Sent down to assist. Hmm. Let's check inside then. First. Okay. And... Oh, chest right there. Yeah. I'm so sure we'll take excellent care of this treasure chest you gave me, Zelda. Can, can we open that? Oh, hey! I know you're helping out this fine chest, but please don't go opening it without my okay. 
They let you do that. That's hilarious. Well, they don't, but they do. Look at anything I can help you with. I'd like to chat. Faces of our world's or fishes are brighter now that Jabba Waters has calmed down. While well, the future customers, you know, we've got to raise them to be strong and healthy. Hello? Playing music lets me express my feelings, and so does composing music. It'd be bliss to spend the rest of my days creating new music with many instruments. Hey, um, know what? Everyone worked together to clean up Jabba Waters. I helped a bunch too, so I've got to be a pretty good kid, right? Sure. Okay, Kashara. Crisis involving more Jabba Jabu. Any yet, Chief Kashara is off and away. She looks as if her thoughts were elsewhere. I hate being unable to help. So even when she's so deep in thought, she looks as radiant as ever. Well, I don't see Rogma anywhere. We asked you for far too much of Rogma and Inala during the Zora Crisis. Surely upset them. Not really true, but okay. Have you ever spoken to Lord Jabu Jami? Well, as much as he can speak, I don't know if he understands her words, to be honest. Still, when I gaze into his perfectly round eyes, I feel such warmth and grace. Yeah, my son was inspired to play adventure by Han, once came here, wants to be one. I want to support his dreams, even if they put him in danger, but apparently must be watchful, too. It's here. I've got to train if I want to be an adventurer. I don't like being on land, so I'm training to be a great sea adventurer. This yeah. Rogue and Chief Kishore have been friends since they were kids. Mom said they used to spend all their time back then practicing music. Hmm. Check some other spots. Oh, the sea zor is probably the one in the plaza. Yeah, now we've got every single smoothie blend. It kind of feels like the end of an era. Hmm. Oh, you're down here. Well, I guess I already got that, Ruby. Hmm. Who else is here? Oh, we got this business scrub. Hello. And, hey there, welcome to the smoothie shop. Let's chat. There's a huge amount of river horses and bubble kelp here, both great for swimmers to eat. But those in the smoothie will be darting through the water like nobody's business. Okay. Hello there. Jabba Waters was quiet until that rift came to the Lord Jabba Jabba Imposter Rampage. If that hadn't happened, this fellow and I would have never become friends. Not a little bad, if you think about it. Quite right now, we're lifelong friends. Lord Jabba Jabba Imposter wrecked a lot of things around Jabba Waters. We're fixing all, but it's taking time. Many areas are still in a state. And we'll just keep working until it's done. There's nothing we can't accomplish together. Yeah, the Sea Zora, the River Zora, and those who live in Seaside Village, too. Cute. And Jabba Jabba is right in his cave. Anything else here? Oh, I got that fixed. Oh well. I fixed the bridge with some materials we had on hand, but I think we've been in ruins after Jabba or Jabba Jabba's Rampage had some appeal. So it looked kind of cool. Let's go over and talk to Jarad. Cool. Because I do suppose that fill on wet this would be... That's where I'd want to go now. Given that... I already triggered its cutscene. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go inside. Oh, he's gone. Oh, boss. I've been the boss's new assistant for a few weeks. We were together all the time, but now this, I can't take it. What do you mean, whispering with Kushar? Seriously, what's this about? I knew I'm warning, so I get that he can't tell me everything. So what's going on all the time? Now I'm way past that. I'm boiling it over. Hi, oh, you want to know where the boss is? Hmm, don't know. Ask the other rivers right in the village. He's been talking to some of them. Maybe they know something. Drad's assistant and I was also worried about her chief's secret meetings with Kishore. Ask the resort where Drad has gone. The boss was talking to some of the rivers right outside earlier. Let them know where he is. Maybe by Jabu Jabu? What's up with the boss? That fancy paper? Isn't that what the Caesar will write letters on? Pretty sure anyway. Either Zelda or you want to know where Boss Rat's gone to. The only thing I know is that he got a letter and then ran off in a hurry. Or that I don't know, but I saw him talking to tell him he might know. So talk to the others over here, he might find out something more. But where's Tom gone off to? That I don't know. Why don't you ask around? And... Ones with dialogue bubbles should know. Or next, the boss is doing too much. Hmm. Hello? Looking for Boss Rat? He walked off all of a sudden, right in the middle of our talk. Tom might know more about where the boss was headed. Tom went fishing east of the village, but I bet he's slacking somewhere in a corner. Okay, cool. I wonder if that would be where... That one... Rift was before. Okay. Standing here, look at the skull. My care is just drift away. You should try it sometimes. It looks like you're always on the go. 
And somewhere in the east. Oh, over there. So not actually in the rift. Oh, well, there, I guess you're telling. What will you tell us? Gah found me. Not slack, I swear I was about to start fishing. Huh? Not trying to make you work, though. It's just you, Zelda. What are you doing here? What? You want to know where Boss has gone off to? I don't know for sure. He mentioned Chief Kishar. It's well, I guess maybe he's gone to the cave in Zoraco. Boss and Kishar used to play there since they were old enough to swim. Used to be great for swimming races, but now lots of monsters work in that cave now. Which one? River Zoratelm thinks that Drowned and Kishar are meeting in Cave in Zoraco, and that's where Drowned is gone. The other one over there. I mentioned Chief Kishar. It's a wild guess, but maybe he's gone to the Cave in Zoraco. Okay, cool. So would it be... No, it should probably be the upper area that's just unlocked now. It's previously blocked by that rock, but also not now. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Road was not there. Take a look. Hello. Should be here. Oh, hello. It's Road my and now we're right there. And oh. cutscene. I'm a Zelda. I'm sorry if I don't left my post. Shot it, spotted Chief Kishari C, and then I followed her here. And Inala found me. I like her cute little frilled collar. Chief Drat has been avoiding Inala. We're in the same boat, it seems. She and I are going out to Chief, so what's going on by her timing is off. Oh. I heard the boss left in a hurry, so I came here to find out what's what. When I thought about asking him, I got scared, lost my nerve. She so think that we assistants are lacking after all. She and I are going to ask them how we failed them, but her timing is off. Go on and do it directly. It'd be funny if we had to go back through the other side of the cave, because they wouldn't let us. No, you, you can't do that. We have to sneak up or something. Huh? Yeah. Oh, Zelda, what brings you here? What? And now on Rogue said we've been acting different. No, we aren't. Not at all. You're being weird. Oh? Hmm. You know what? Please, we shouldn't. What answers now? Oh. Boss, what's the big idea of avoiding me having secret meetings with Kushara? Sure, I'm new to the job, but it's my job, and I want to do it right or not at all. I... Yes, I feel just the same. Perhaps it matters for Chiefs only, but we are here to be of assistance. Hmm. Sorry. Private time. Hmm. So here's the truth. The two of us want to thank the two of you. Not sure how yet, but it's our fault you two were put in harm's way during the crisis. We thought it best to put our heads together, just because Sharp and Drad know formalities. Want our thanks to be personal, though we're still trying to figure out what's best. Uh, Looks like you bungled it, though. Didn't mean to make you too worry. It's hard to just be ourselves in matters where we should speak from the heart. So, Rogma, yes, thank you for saving me. Not perfect, but I hope I can keep asking for your support. Chief Kashara, of course nothing in the world will make me happier. <laughs> hey, thanks to you too, Inawa. You know me, I charge right in and I don't even see the small stuff. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for keeping me out of messes before I make him, Inawa. Boss, never knew you felt that way. Maybe you could charge in a little less and look around a little more. And still, I'm a happy Zora. I work twice as hard to keep things on an even keel. Boat metaphor. Seems that everyone's getting along fine now. You've helped us yet again, Zola. You and that round thing you keep of you. And that round thing, I'm trying. So sure you got a round thing. At some point, I'd like to meet this round thing you keep talking about because she was not in a rift. So she can't see try, right? So, a reward. Thank you, Lady Zelda. You helped us clear up this difficult misunderstanding. You deserve something really special for all this. Please accept this brooch. And that's got a gold brooch. Or this exceptional jewelry to make rupees appear more often when you break objects or defeat monsters. Better than the silver? I think I'll return to our village now. I hope you'll come visit again, Lady Zelda. The silver brooch was also in the river, too, which is funny. The reason the two chiefs were speaking in secret was to come up with a heart way, help, heartfelt way to thank their assistance. Now that everyone understands, it seems that they've all become a little closer. Hmm. And we've used all, used all these for automatons, so these four remaining items. I don't know. Hmm. Let me check. Oh, we're about, right, we got our final... ...bottle from... I got that final bottle again. It was one of those quests. Was it? Might have been the snow, maybe. I don't remember. Whatever. Oh, the Quackle Key is the theme in Joy 2, right? One of a kind one and key. You can use it to make automatons move. Okay, so let's go talk to them quickly one more time. And then, right, I should go and talk to Impa. See what she has to say about this matter. 
Maybe I can poke into a little bit of fair one wetlands. Or not, or not. We'll see. And you. Okay, same as before, yeah. Okay. Let's go visit Kushara. <laughs> Could buy kelp, not necessarily, of course. And right, we got our gold brooch, which is just more of that highest quality jewelry instead of high quality jewelry. Not just a little more often, but more often wearing it makes rupees appear more often, breaking objects or defeating monsters. And if we wanted to, we could equip multiple at once, I think. Let's just check. And, yep, you can have both of those on once. If you really cared. Oh well. Come up in conversation with Chief Ashara quite often. Zali rename puts her in the brightest of spirits. Wish I could put her in such a glowing mood, mood so when she smiles, it brightens my day. Oh. Why my, if it isn't Lady Zelda, welcome. We see Zora appreciate what you've done to save Java Waters, Lady Zelda. So much destruction, so much to be fixed, but all of the Zora are working together now. Hi. But Zelda is always welcome to the village of the sea, Zora. We are thrilled you were here, the one who saved Java Waters. Not much to say, that's alright. Right, the horse is still there. Let's go see what Drad has to say real quick. I think I will leave when Nehru for last, probably. It is kind of special. Okay. Sure, it'll be nice and climactic. Also, electricity here. Ice. Electric wizard up here. Ice wizard up here. Fire wizard up here. Hmm. Interesting. Hello. Oh, Zelda, hi there. Yo! We've got a lot to do. We can tell all the damage done by that imposter or Jabu Jabu. Got a lot of staying busy, especially to helps the boss out. You. Saw that before. Zelda, have you seen the Zoro who helps him with smaller tasks around here? Went down to the sea, but hasn't come back. He's no minnow, so I shouldn't worry about it. Right. So we saw that before. That's the one, I think, who was with the sea Zora being all buddy-buddy. I want to check around Eastern Palace again. The archaeologist guy. I should talk to Impa. Mentioned I got the horse. Hmm. Either way, there are either three or seven more pieces of heart left in the game, period. Kind of crazy to think about. And real good damage, yeah. And almost unstoppable, too, and hello, Mr. Guy. Thank you very much, now I can research the temple safely. No monsters around, but we did that already. I want to see real quickly, actually, if... When I go into that cave... I wonder if that golden waste cloth, cloth from before it would let me go past the water current. I wonder if that would count as wind. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. Not interested in that garbage. Thank you, thank you. Swim speed up, dive speed up, and wind resistance, maybe? Do you need to figure out what to do about this? I put down... The water block disappears. Let me just see. I put on... Winding speed up. Can go for a second, and we'll put on a gold sash, and... That does not do it. Huh. I? What would... Oh, I... Never mind, I imagine. The way to do it would be to... I can't quite reach it, though. I was gonna say, I imagine the reason... Re the way would be to actually grab that and pull it, but... Not appear to be... Doable like this, at least. So what would force me to float up? If anything... Uh, what in water? Maybe a plat boom. And that. Uh huh. No, actually. Oh, oops. Oops. One on top of the plat boom. I think it would force me up with it. And yep. This will force me up with it. That's how you do that. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And okay. It's just for an actor. But at least that answers my long-standing question. Okay. 
some rifts up here. Some of that way. It looks like an obvious pedestal, but who knows? Who knows what's actually going on there? And presumably the forest will be our final objective after we've done everything else. Just going to Castleton, tell Emperor that we got our funky little horse. Not used for one thing, basically. Okay. Yeah, probably. 17 more microcrystals. No, I mean 27. 27 more microcrystals. Which, the dungeon will do most of the. Oh, another quest. Oh. Oh, princess. Look what I found isn't cool. My only. My very own Romy discovery. Do you know you'll be happy forever and ever? You've got one of these clovers. So I gave my papa one. He said, Oh, Romy, thank you so much. He was so happy. So, princess, I think you should give one of these to your papa, too. Oh. Huh. Got a happy clover. A girl in Castleton gave you this four week plant. You should take it to the king of Hyrule. Now yeah, go make your papa happy, too. A uh, pupper's wing. From the heart. That's cute. You received a happy clover from the girl named Romy. She suggested you give it to the king of Hyrule. That's in here. Before the swords. Before we've planned, given to you by a girl in the castle town. Supposedly possessing it brings happiness. Let's just give the clover I gave you to your papa. He'll be so happy. That'll be allergic or something. Okay. Either way. For on what lands would be the obvious next step after this. Then Elden, then... Hebra, and then whatever comes after that. This is all new stuff. I mean, all old stuff. All stuff we've seen before. Okay, what will we have to say? So we can give this to him. Talk to Impa. Got the horse. Hmm. Our princess, I heard about the ordeal we went through with the owner of the ranch. I was rude to hear you weren't harmed and managed to retrieve your lovely white horse. Two must be quite the magnificent sight, galloping across Hyrule Field together. Well, when I do it. I hope to see such a sight with my own eyes someday. Yeah. Well, my soldier and I will take care of investigating monsters in different areas of Hyrule. Is there anything I can help with? Any involved monsters? I've been hearing any recent reports of monsters out there. Peace reigns, or once so one hopes. Okay, it does seem, given that those reports came in after we did those dungeons, Eastern Temple was kind of disconnected, but that big berry was in Top of Waters, and then Funnel and Mole was in the desert, so maybe we'll get new monsters after we do Death Mountain and, I mean, El Volcano, Hebra, and, oh, Deku Place. There were things I couldn't access from what lands. Couldn't access when I went there the first time. Let's give it the clover. Azella, how good to see you. I knew you have something for me. And... Oh, I see him from one of the young children in town. Clover that brings happiness sounds like she's found a real treasure then, hasn't mm. she? So the child's name is Romy. Well, then I'll have to find a way to show her my gratitude. Your Majesty, urgent news. Oh, a fight? A rift? Or... What is it? A young child from town, while Romy has run away, slipped out into the field. By the time guards noticed her, she already bolted out the southern mm. gate. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Mm. Gather your fellow soldiers at the southern gate and send out a search party immediately. Oh. Yes, sir. Hmm. Romy, that was a child who wanted me to have this clover, was it not? I know there's still much you need to do, Zelda, but we assist us in the search effort. I'm terribly concerned about all this. The soldier said Romy ran out through the southern gate. The gods there should be able to tell you more. Received word that Romy left the castle town. The soldiers, soldiers were searching how they field for her. We gave that then. The soldier said Romy ran out through the southern gate. Okay. So we'll talk and... Oh, there's a big... Two big rifts there. Interesting. So that'll be our final thing then. Okay. Shouldn't take all that long, hopefully. We'll see. Hmm. All we know. Romy sure is quick. I'll side of her by the time I even realize what happened. Under to have your help, Princess Zelda. Romy was seen running along the road past the gate. We believe she was chasing a dog. Since soldiers come along the road, you might want to try speaking with him. Where's my daughter? How could you have allowed this to happen? Oh, shopkeeper man. Was her father. Hyrule hey, soldiers are all working together. Find your daughter, please, sir. Just remain here. Oh, Romy, where are you? And 
According to the report room, it was seen running down the road away from town. Let's actually carrot this. This could be a decent time to use our horse. Okay, over here. Thank you, horsey. Not all that carrot for you. And let's talk. I've looked all around, but it doesn't seem like anyone passed through here. I think it's best we follow the road to the south. And as I said, that's the way she went. Okay. So, well. Oh well. Oh, that hit me. I no sign of the child or the dog around here. They must have headed further south. Oh, oops, oops. Come on. Don't hit me, please. And, alright. There are soldiers here. Is it over the child or a dog or anywhere in these parts? We'll continue searching east. We'd appreciate your help in the effort to the West Princess. It's inspiring to see you join us in search effort, Your Highness. We'll follow this road toward Java Waters. Would you mind if you check the road facing the west? Okay. And yeah, we already see the rift right there. Yeah, that's pretty drastic. Let's have a pick of that. Okay. You were over here, hello. What's this terrible news, I'm afraid? A new rift has sprung up just ahead. We're still investigating the scene, so please be careful. You decide to move closer. The situation's gone from bad to worse. The lost child and a rift. I certainly hope she isn't stuck in there. Well, then she definitely is. Yep, and the cat's right outside. Dog's right outside. Oh, Princess Zelda, you're here. Came upon this riffle searching for the missing child, but this dog won't move an inch. It just refuses to leave, so she must be inside. If this is Romy's dog, then that can mean all I can't even go to say it. Romy's dog was found next to a rift. It's possible that poor Romy is trapped in the rift. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Or, or... Wanted to see what might be on the other side. Another big thing. Let's put this down. And I, oh, well, whatever. Oh, please don't break that. You really annoy me. I, come on, and stuff all in here, but that's presumably not much of anything then. Okay. I really do not feel like fighting them right now. Go around. And something just seemed to go up. That was weird. Maybe just a butterfly. Around here real quick. It's totally blocked off. There's a mic crystal I got from in here before, but beyond that, I wonder if there's going to be anything new that we'll get clearing out this rift. Maybe a piece of heart or something? Maybe. I we can't access that quite yet. Let's go and actually clear the rift out. Cool. Open over the tree. Open that. Cool. We can create an answer here, stand like Zelda. Or the cutscene. Okay. Where did that glowing thing come from? Right, because you haven't been rift. Can't see. Try. Okay. Let's get what's in here. And is that her? I can sense my friends here. They're trapped. They're trapped in three areas to be exact. If we rescue them all, we can fix this rift. And that looks like she's just right there. Yes, old Southern Hyrule Field. Yep. Oh, now she can see Try. That's the girl who went missing, isn't it, Romy? We found her. If we met the Rift, we'll be able to save her. Alright. It's not that big. It's kind of big. Oh, and we got Torch Slugs. I think... Ice Wiz Rope should be a good counter. Let me just see. Hmm. wonder if they'd be immune to the Fire Wizard's attacks, actually. Yep, they're immune. Okay. Ooh, you are rather resilient. Mm -hmm. That does it. Okay, and, well, that goes. Oh, we got Shadow Moldorms. Interesting. Let's send you down and keep slashing. Very good. Oh, and the tri was in there. Okay. Let's get that and... And use you to just chop up the Moldorms then. Well, that... Come on. I didn't mean to do that. Come on, spin, spin, spin. Spin to win. Or at least do okay. Spin to do okay. And whoa. Oh, goodness. We're not... No, not quite. We should... 
Hitting does have stun the Moldor, but it's not perfect. I should open up the bed again real quick. Probably actually put the PJs on. Okay, and okay. Oh, you can't press up to scroll all the way back down to the bottom. That's annoying. Okay, what's well, Zilla bed? And it's two hearts, two full hearts. Okay, makes sense. And let's actually let the ice wizard take out torch slug. It's for fun. It won't mean much, but I care. I care. Oh well, that knocked it off and it died by falling off the wall. Okay, so it actually can experience knockback. Interesting. And I. Got a dark nut and will it be able to just tank the pihat attacks? It takes some damage, but the damage is more than good enough. Wow, it's really resilient. Or of course we could just keep it still and then use the fire wizard or something. But speed of the dark, the attack speed of the dark nut used right is just really really good though. We go over here where you hopefully hit maybe. Well, I have to come down to attack properly anyway, so it'll work. Oh, come on. There we go. And just get in range, and that's another kill. One down here, too. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Final try, friends. Wonder where that is. There's also the climbing wall. Check that out just to see what's going on with it before I lose access to the area by actually finishing it. Uh, oops. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. And over this way. Bit of energy that again I don't need. Oops. Okay, cool. And I we can just find the Lazalfos to us to attack a bit more adequately. Okay. Or not. Jumping attack works well too. Yep, and that's our final try deal. And come on. Let's drag you underwater. Thank you. I, oh! Oh no, dragging you underwater. You weren't actually one of those seabirds. Can die, but not actually submerge. Okay. Let's get this. And that's this rift cleared. Let's see what's in the field now. Now that that big rift is gone, too. Found all my friends in this area. Now we can mend this rift. Do you wonder what another try level will give us? What echoes will have decreased cost after that? Okay. Cool. Get some more my crystals and a bit more experience for try. It's nice and fast. Tiny little riffs. My friends shared some of their power with me. And yep, it won't be that much more until I get seven. Next dungeon might actually take me all the way to eight. Got two my crystals from try. So let's go back to your world now. But I'm pretty sure that the limit stops at either six or seven. Excuse me. Here you are. Romy. She roams. Maybe that's why her name is that. It's a cell that's a miracle. The rift is gone. The child is saved. What's the princess? Hi, princess. And why are you here? We're caught in the rift. Princess Zelda saved you from it. Oh, well, thank you. Guess that means it's been a while, huh? We should probably go home. Not that long at all. Thank you for your help, your highness. If you hadn't been here, well, I'm just glad you were. Go brief the other soldiers on what happened. We escort this one to the castle. We have lots and lots, now I'm hungry. That sends us all the way back already, so let's check what is in that rift. Thank you for helping me bring back my dear daughter. I heard she had slipped out of town, I didn't know what to do. I feel little Romy is safe now because of Princess Zelda. I too am relieved to have the child back with us. Mm. Romy, glad as we are that you're safe, you should know your father was very worried. The future mustn't go beyond the gates on Rowan, understood? Papa's worried about me, I'm sorry, I'll be more careful. <laughs> I also want you to know that Zelda gave me your gift. I'd like to take the opportunity to express my gratitude. Thank you, Romy. Oh. We'll cherish it. Hee <laughs> hee. Now I'm sure we're tired after all the excitement today. Soldier, we're escorting you back into town. That's your majesty. Bye bye, king. Bye bye, princess. It's our reward. I'll have Romy slow down. And. Oh, what's our reward? Oh. Zelda, I appreciate your help with this matter. Mm. You know, you actually caused a similar fuss once when you were a widow. You always were a spirited one. Mm. I used to worry terribly when you got into trouble, and now... 
I have grown up so much that you, so, that you no longer need my home. And so Zelda will always be my daughter, no matter how strong and capable you become. No matter the duties you're burdened with. Yeah, I would like to have this dress back. Oh, the official Zelda outfit. You got some customary attire. This beautiful and elegant dress is fit for a princess makes, wearing it makes you feel regal. Okay. You left it with Impo when you fled the castle, yes, from the start of the game. A dress is a symbol of who you are to this kingdom and who you are to me. Princess of Hyrule, my beloved daughter, you are my greatest treasure, Zelda. While you are away, I will wish for your safety upon this happy clover. Please know that you may return home whenever you need rest. Cute. After saving Romy from the rift, you spoke with the King of Hyrule. He returned her dress to you and said to come home anytime. Cute. Beautiful and elegant dress fit for a princess where it makes you feel regal. But it doesn't do anything special, really. It's nice, though. Honestly, I feel like that's the kind of thing I'd want to wear for the final fight. Oh. My child, my heart is heavy, knowing the burden you bear. Promise me you will be careful. You are this kingdom's princess, but first and foremost, you are my daughter, my happiness. I will wish upon this happy clover for your safety. Please return home whenever you are weary. Yep. And we can't push that out of the way like we could with the dungeon initially. Okay. Want to check what's in that rift after that. Only thing to do... Quit out and do fair on what lands next time, whenever next time is. Where is Romy? Not you, right? Okay. Kid, yep, yeah, you're here. Hello. Oh, it's the princess. If I make any more major discoveries, I'll be sure to tell you about it, okay? Hmm. And you. My daughter is safe because of you, Princess Zelda. I always knew we had it in you. What? I really mean that. So let's see what's in that center there. Now that that rift is gone. Okay. Hmm. It's cleared up. Any changes to the area? Or... Probably not, honestly. It's the pea hat from before. Yep, that's really nothing all that special. Okay. Okay. Hi. That's a okay. So I guess that chest in Southern Forest was probably just something I did not get the first time through them. All right then, that's okay. I will rest in the Zelda bed one last time and go to the starter fair in Wetlands, and that'll be. I like how she throws her arms back when jumping in. It's cute. And she puts them back down. Okay, so... Fluon Wetlands, Upper Mountain, Java Waters. It's all for next time. We'll start with Faron. Okay, cool. Let's go there, and... Next time, we'll see... What's up with its rift, and presumably its dungeon. How, f how exciting. Got five cost echoes now, and we're definitely chilling. So thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Sayonara again.